they have the biggest testicles relative to body size of any male on the planet. Hey everyone, Slayer here to introduce Nasty and Friends from BDC Studios, a podcast where two friends who met in the Army Reserves get together and talk about shit. One's a firefighter and the other has a funny laugh. So sit back, get rid of your kids, and hold on to your because it's about to get nasty, friends. Welcome to Nasty and Friends with Pack Nasty and Spicy Motherfucking Brown. It's a moment, bitches. This is episode 50. I can't believe we're finally here, man. Jesus. We've made it to the top. <laughs> no. Uh, this is Pack Nasty here along with Spicy Motherfucking Brown. As you know, the best podcaster in the league. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, man? Man, I'm feeling good, dude. Great to be yeah. back in BDC Studios. Yeah. Episode 50, season three. <laughs> it's so crazy. Fucking Can't crazy. believe we have that many. And then all the prison calls that we have. Yeah, what? Um, Eight, nine, ten prison calls? Yeah, it's it's phenomenal. I think at some point in, during like one of the drunk casts, we said we were going to get a tattoo at episode 100. I think so, I, We might have to go back, somebody fact check us. I, I don't <laughs> remember, but it would be pretty sweet. Uh, but we're not alone. Um, as We don't like to be a lot of the times because this podcast is about bringing people together and i got one of my best friends here you guys he's been on the podcast before um he was on with our other good friend uh rob we got chubbs here welcome back buddy Yay. thanks for having me hey. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming man I'm, I'm really excited we got a lot we want to talk about as always um but before we get started um as people know youtube is always on silent it's in the background um and you had chosen um the best of snl skits or um like the just the best skits, I think in general, right? Yeah, just whatever pops up, I guess pops up for <laughs> SNL. <laughs> now, have you always been an SNL guy? Like, do you watch it like today, or do you just have like early on? Or? Not to, not today. <coughs> I, I started watching it probably late '80s. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and fell in love with that. Like Will Ferrell is probably one of my favorite all-time yeah. actors in general, but just his SNL skits are top-notch. Yeah, I was going to ask if, if you had a favorite, because I know like you're a big SNL guy, and I yeah. only kind of recently got into it since we've like started this podcast a couple years ago while I watch. I usually watch everyone if I find out that Justin Timberlake is going to host it, because yeah. everybody knows he's my man crush, so and he's just so funny anyway, yeah. but um, what do you have like a certain era for you? For me, it would probably be about like 10 years ago, mm -hmm. like the end of... I don't even know who was on there. Like, now it's good. I think the talent on there now is way better than it was back back in the day. And I, people are, hopefully Chubbs, <laughs> going to fight me over this. A lot of people, a lot of people Define are... Define back in the day. <laughs> well, a lot of people uh, uh, are, are going to have a problem with that. I just think they're way more, uh, like, talented now in, in different areas. They don't have the names now that right. they did back in the day. So, like, if you looked on paper and you would see... Uh, Dan Aykroyd and Mike Myers and Eddie <laughs> yeah. Murphy and you right. see Adam Sandler and Chris Rock and all those guys. I don't to me to me that wasn't the best for for me. <clears throat> that wasn't the best era for SNL. I think it was ten years ago. The end of the end of Will Ferrell, uh, Kristen Wiig was on there. You had some of the people that are still on there now, like Keenan Thompson, and then you had some of the older people there. Uh, and I so you just like that transition period then, right around there. Uh, the, and I don't. I'm slipping on the names, but uh, like the guy from Portlandia and uh, okay, yeah, I know from, his face, but yeah, uh, McGruber and like, like that cast, they were just talented. Where they weren't mm -hmm. just like Dan Aykroyd is a fucking legend in movies. Of but course, his what as far as like sketch comedy, he couldn't do everything. Where like people like Krista Wade can do anything. Right, other guys could do so many different interpretations of, of, of impersonations of people and, yeah. and do things, and they could sing and dance. They they're all so talented they could all do stand up they could do these things i just think they're they're more talented now than they were back in the day but there's there's it's not the names at all like back in the day like back in the day you, i mean they had chris farley <laughs> right uh, adam Spade, sandler chris yeah. rock they, they had all those guys on there but if you go back and watch those uh Nah, to me, they weren't. It wasn't that good. Yeah, it was also kind of the beginning of like the Lonely Island, which I love. That, and that, which I, that, no, that's, era, yeah. that era was it. Yeah, their their digital shorts or whatever they're yes. called are great. Do you like those guys as well? Or? Yeah, yeah. I just right in my early high school days is when really getting into it, and it was uh, 
Will Ferrell and uh, Chris Kattan. Chris think, Kattan was fantastic. Yes. Too, yeah. Fantastic. One of my favorite skits was uh, The Night at the Roxbury. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I think, you, yeah. We, me, me. <laughs> we, we, should, we should do that. We had three of us. We'd drive around in the car, and we'd just play that over and over. <laughs> and we'd drive around David City, and it came up to Shout the one stoplight. The one stoplight in David City. <laughs> we were just doing that, doing a little head bob. Some random lady pulls up in a van. We're stopped at the stop. She looks at us. Looks back forward, looks at us again, just takes off through the stoplight. <laughs> just completely leaves the dust. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, just left us. We were sober, too. <laughs> Dude, that's great. I See, I've never, like, when I get into it, I don't usually ever sit down and watch full episodes. It's just usually what go, goes on YouTube. And that's, what I think, probably how most people do it now. Right, yeah. yeah. Which is great. I mean, it's smart to do it because I'm sure they're yeah. making money off YouTube as well. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it's awesome. Obviously, I, I tuned in when uh, Dave Chappelle had the opening after Trump got elected because oh. I definitely I wanted to see because so everybody good. knew he was going to say something, you know, yeah. just to see. And plus, it's Dave Chappelle coming back, and you know, yeah. I usually watch his open monologues. And his uh, Walking Dead skit was phenomenal. Fucking murder! <laughs> yeah, dude. it was right after that. It was right after the election. And it was right after the end of the Walking Dead. So that was to me that was a perfect sketch. Right. Well, you ha- you had his opening monologue, which I think the opening monologue is. I always find that intriguing. I right. Stand-up comedians, to me, do it the best. Oh, of course. Like you have it's their yeah. job. <laughs> actors on there, and they'll do like a fucking song and dance. I'm not a big somebody into musicals. Right. So I'm like, I don't give a shit. Sometimes it's kind of entertaining, but I'm like, I don't give a fuck. But when you have a stand-up on there, and they just like Louis C.K. or uh, Dave Chappelle, <laughs> and they just get on the mic, and they fucking do a five-minute bit that fucking murders. I love that. And then they go right into the Dave Chappelle skit, which kills it because... Uh, for the people who watch, watch Walking Dead, like you see that oh, yeah. again with the Glenn spoiler alert with the fucking Glenn murder. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Wait, then it, Glenn dies. <laughs> <laughs> fuck! <laughs> fuck! I ruined it. And then you get to see a bunch of uh, Dave Chappelle's characters that you want to see. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. From the Chappelle from show. From the Chappelle show. Yeah. It, yeah. I, that was. Perfect. We were just talking today that it's crazy that the Chappelle show was like just two seasons. Like, were you a big Chappelle show guy? Yeah, yeah, or? I love Chappelle show. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's hard to beat anybody yeah. who didn't, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was only two seasons. That's and it. it's, and wow. he has that many fire skits. Yeah. And I, you know, I don't know the whole situation he kind of touched. I mean, well, he did kind of around about touch on it in his last special and he just gave an example of what happened when he left but yeah man just to tell like they tried to get him to stop saying the n-word and he's like no i'm not <laughs> no, you can't like just let me do it that's mm-hmm. the biggest problem with the big companies they gotta which i know they're just trying to make money but just gotta let the artists do what they do and <clears throat> insane any anybody who and i don't understand that but i'm sure that people who are in that uh like arena like as far as producing shows and yeah. tv shows I think they always want to be like, well, this is what the people want. And they're getting feedback from their fan bases, whatever. But I think when you have something like the Chappelle Show, which fucking exploded. Oh, and you yeah. have some a crew that's that talented. I don't understand why you would even be like, hey, let's tweak it a little bit. Especially <laughs> if you're not even in the industry. Let's do it this way. Like, you just let that fucking do it. I yeah, don't know. he's got to leave it up to Chappelle and Neil, yeah. man. But I'm sure even on the, the people on the show and actors, I'm sure there's so much pressure. And then when... In the second season, there's so much money flowing in, and uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I I, mean, I can't imagine what that pressure would be like. I, I'm sure it would make most people fucking lose it some, but I don't know. I don't know why you, you would try to fuck with that or something like that. You just fucking you you guys are ego. It. I'm sure. Oh yeah, there's always somebody that thinks they know better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it it it's crazy. So so you would say Will is probably your overall. I mean, he it's it's a great argument. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but, it's all objective anyway. Yeah. I would I would agree. Will yeah. Ferrell. I yeah. think he's the he's best. Just... So talented. Every sketch he was on, he was so fucking good. And there's people that are close. Like the, the woman now, the blonde. Mm-hmm. I don't even know her name. She's in a bunch of movies. Like she was in Ghostbusters. Uh, she's so fucking good in every sketch. She's fine. Right. Kristen Wiig was fire. There's a lot of people. Uh, the dude who did Stefan, I can't think of his name. Yeah. And then the guy from Portlandia. I think they were fucking fire. You know and, who, uh, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, Poehler. Yeah, yeah, were fantastic yeah. too. Who was your favorite? Uh, what's the fucking the news? What is it? What oh, is it weekend, up weekend, up weekend, weekend up. Who was yeah. your favorite? Oh God! Because back in the day it was Dennis Miller, and then it was uh, Norm Macdonald. Yeah. Then it was uh, fuck. What's his? 
uh, the Jimmy Fallon, I think, for a while. Then Amy Poehler, Tina Fey, and then uh, somebody else. And now it's uh, the two fucks that are on there now. I can't even think of their names, but they're fucking great. I right. Think, you know? Yeah. Um, I can see. Is it Michael Che? Is he one Michael of them? Che? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's the one I can. That's yeah. the one I think of. Colin Jost. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like Michael Che. He's great. Yeah. His stand up. He has an hour on Netflix. It's phenomenal. Fantastic. It's great. But yeah, dude, I mean, I, I love it. I think, you know, everybody has seen at least uh, a little bit of, yeah. of SNL. And if you're not, it's, it stands for Saturday Night Live. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're pre recorded. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. So, but yeah, man, I mean, we got a lot to get into. Uh, as we said, this is a cooking show. And I know you, you cook a lot, Chubbs, and I know you. Probably have some questions for him. So, because uh, you just recently got a uh, smoker, I don't know if you got to see it out on on the back porch or not. The new smoker that Down he got. Here? Uh, no, no, it's up, yeah, I'll take up, a look at it upstairs. It's a pit Pell- pellet smoker. Yeah, it's a pit boss. Pit boss. Pellet. Yeah. yeah. And so you have a Traeger. Okay. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah. And you're always smoking on it, though, yeah, right? Uh, yeah, I, I probably use it four or five times a week. Yeah. How How long have you had yours? Uh, just over a year. I bought it. Year ago last March, so almost a year and a half now. What's your favorite thing to cook on it? Oh, Jesus, you probably chicken. Yeah, just uh, chicken. Can, chicken in general, you can do so much with chicken. Beer can chicken. I mean, just season marinate chicken and throw it on there. Just let it smoke. Yeah. Have you ever had beer can chicken? I'm sure you've had it. Not not on the trigger or okay. not on the grill at all. But yeah, I do. That's great because I have questions about chicken <laughs> because that's the thing I cook the least on the on uh, the grill. So I uh. So my deal was I had three three different apparatuses. So I had a electric smoker, I had a propane grill, and then I had down here I had a propane grill side by side with the charcoal. I would use the charcoal for almost everything, and then I would use the electric smoker. And then if we were in a rush, or uh, my girlfriend didn't really fuck with charcoal much, so if I was at work, she would just use the propane. And I said, this is fucking too much. There's <laughs> so <laughs> many, man. Yeah, yeah it's three different things. And so I sold the electric smoker, and I sold the propane one, and I bought a pellet smoker. Uh, the pellet grill, I mean. And I got the pit boss just because it was cheaper than the trigger. Everybody, I, most people I knew were transitioning to the pellet. Yeah. Pellet, and that's yeah. the system. And I, you know, talked to other guys, and they were like, "Yeah, that you could do everything." In it. It's fucking. Yeah, we still yeah. have yet to go to it, like, because JPEGs wanted a charcoal grill, mm-hmm. so that's what her brother got us for our wedding. So, which I like it, but we just don't really have the room. I mean, to put it, to have like both of them up there. Maybe if we extended our deck, and I, and I don't mind it. We don't grill out a ton, but it would be nice to have one so like I can like cook up some like deer burgers or something like yeah. even in the winter. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because I'm sure you probably yeah. use yours throughout the winter all the oh, time. Oh yeah, so yeah, all the time. But, yeah, I mean, that's I want to get one, and even if it's just a small one. But then it sucks, so, like, if you do get a small one, we ever have people down, which isn't a lot or very often, but when we do, and then it's just, you know, deal with yeah. the small one. But I want to, because I think it'd be, you know, I'd for sure get more into cooking and stuff. Yeah. Um, I feel if we had one, so who knows. But, yeah, I mean, there's all different types, Green Mountains. But So you got the pit boss, and you really liking that? or Yeah, I, I like it. I it to, to me, it's not the same, because at work we have uh, – like a barrel with the side car deal where you put the charcoal and then yeah. the smoke and then it goes through. I think the flavor of that is, to me is way fucking better. You could put way more smoke on there. What I love about the pellet smoker is you could do everything on it. Plus, uh, you could leave for 12 hours and it, yeah. it just cooks. It right. just, you don't. There's no maintenance. Even with my electric smoker, every 45 minutes or so, I would have to put wood chips in there. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So with this, I I cook shit. I could leave for 10 hours. You know what I mean? So... Uh, I, I love that. I so chicken. I cook. I smoke the least out of chicken. So I really love chicken wings, and I would always do those on the charcoal grill. And then now, like when I'm trying to do chicken on the uh, the pit boss, like it. And th- there's the dial, mm-hmm. you know, which you don't have on charcoal. You just set, you know, from smoke setting all the way up to I think 500 degrees. Trying to dial it in to where. Uh, it's either too you want it you don't you want smoke on there but you don't want it rubbery you want the crisp on there so I'm trying to fuck with that and I feel like 300 degrees is probably where I want to go. Do you? Th- I just did two chickens for the first time. And yeah, I did 250 did, yeah. for about four hours, and it, it it did it wasn't rubbery but it wasn't crispy like I wanted it. Do yeah. you have a temperature you you See, go to for chicken? Ever since I switched to the trigger, I don't. 
go for crispiness too much. Okay. So do you like just take the skin off or? I, it depends on it depends on what chicken I'm doing. Like if I do like I just did leg quarters the other day. Mm, I love it, uh, first time I did them, I left the skin on and that, mm -hmm. and I got the crispiness on it. I turned it. I think I started. I think I did a little bit for two fifty, two seventy five. Okay. Let it smoke for a little bit, and then I cranked it up to probably three fifty. Okay, and that's what I I kind of do when I do legs or quarters or, or yeah uh, and then, then i got chicken. that crispiness on there and then i the next set i did i cut all the skin off and okay. seasoned it the way i wanted it and uh i just left it on it i think i did 325 okay and it still came out sure. pretty good uh and i find it, it sometimes it's kind of hard to get that get that crispiness or bar yeah. on yeah. there I if you want too. that uh like my brats if i ever do brats they almost have to be burnt so I'll take them in and I'll throw them on the skillet or something. Okay. That's just the way I like my brats, just to mm -hmm. pretty much burn them. So you'll, you'll start start with them on the pellet grill I'll and do then them on move the, them? Yeah, I'll do them on the Traeger and then move them. Like, I do that. I'm kind of fine-tuning my reverse sear okay. on steaks and that. I don't know if you've tried anything like that yet, where you smoke the steak first. Uh -uh. And then... Uh, to like what you about what you want right well you want you want to you smoke it I, I you go way under i go way under i smoke it like, depends on so how, how do you eat your, your steak, steak is. yeah yeah obviously. depends on how you get how you want your steak and how thick your steak is um like i bought a i don't know big slab of ribeyes okay i just cut them up myself probably okay. about an inch thick okay threw it on there i think i smoked it just on smoke for probably about an hour all right and then uh some Jeez. people take it off there and crank the Traeger up or whatever your pellet grill to high, and then just and, sear then, it. and they'll throw it back on there and sear it. Okay. I like to take mine and put it in a cast iron skillet. I'll heat the skillet up and I'll throw uh, some butter in there, maybe a little garlic mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. some other seasonings, and then I'll sear it. Depending on how you like it, I think I do a minute and a half, two minutes on each side, and I'll come out about perfect medium for me. Shit, that sounds great, dude. Nice, because that's I know Rogan. He does the reverse here with his uh, with his elk steaks. Yeah. He's always putting yeah, on I've Instagram, okay. and I've seen a lot. And he does like garlic butter, and it's, he doesn't yeah. do it for very long, and he just gets it up after he takes out the pellet grill, okay. and he has it down to the perfect temperature for however long. And uh, but I think he eats his like rare to medium rare. Yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, medium, anything. I used to be like a medium well guy. Okay. Like when I was younger, it was like, cause I was a very picky eater. So I was like, well yeah. done. And then yeah. when I got a little bit older, it'd be like medium well. And so then I was like, well, medium. And then now I'm just like, I just say medium rare wherever I go. If it's right. a little over, if it's a little under, it's fine. Yeah, that's so, fine. Yeah. I used to be super rare. picky when I was young. Yeah. Yeah. Like most people, mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean, we all can't be like President Trump and eat it well done with ketchup, so. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <That's> disgusting. <laughs> but, dude, so how long have you been trying to, like, doing that reverse sear? Uh, first couple times I did it, I did it with dinner steaks. I mean, they were probably dinner, uh, what were they, New York strips. Okay. And they came out, the flavor was good, still juicy, they just came out well done. I like my steak, a little more bloody. Yeah. A little juicier, so I... I the thicker the steak, the better it's going to be. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so. for sure. Yeah, dude, I've never done the reverse sear. I know what a lot of restaurants, and I don't ever sear it just because uh, I have like an electric stove top in the house. But I think what a lot of restaurants do is they sear it and then just put it in the oven and they cook it like that. I'm sure. So right. on the grill, I'm, I, I just never tried the reverse sear. My, the, the, the one thing I don't like about the at least the pit boss, the pellet grill that I have, it doesn't get the heat that I want. Like on the charcoal, I, I don't know how fucking hot it used to get. I used to stack a ton of charcoal. I could get it hot as fuck. And that's what I want. Like with the with, with my grill, I'll crank it up to 500, and it's just not hot. Like it'll stay 500, but that's with the lid closed. And if you're ever trying to get something crispy, whether it's wings or like a char on something, you want the lid up. So like when you cook steaks... You're supposed to cook it with the lid up so it gets the char. If not, there's too much moisture, and then you end up with, like, gray steaks. That's not what you want. So I've I've had problems, and I'm sure Traeger is probably better. So you, I don't know if you have that problem, but uh, to hold to get to a high enough temperature where I could have the lid up and then get stuff charred, I, I ha I'm having problems with, with my grill doing that. So I have to have the lid closed, and when the lid's closed, I just don't get a char on, okay. on stuff I'm trying to charge. That's my only problem that I have with my do you have any troubles like that with? Yeah, see, I don't. I don't usually go for anything charred like that. I don't know if they okay. get. I know on the Traeger you can get a cast iron, okay, grace to put in there. Hmm. So I don't know if you can do that with the what is it, Pit Boss? Yeah, you, there's there's a. I could probably just use my a cast iron skillet and set it right. Oh on the, yeah. On the, 
And I'm going to try that. I'm going to try to reverse sear stuff that way. But, yeah. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, what's the um, the most, not like outrageous, but like the weirdest thing you've ever smoked on there? Cookies. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh, I thought you were just saying that just to be funny, well, dude. <laughs> no, I, I mean, that's probably, first thing I ever put on there was a, a Jack's Pizza. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I want to say cookies is probably. So did you just get like the cookie dough, or did you make the dough, or like? Oh yeah, no, I just bought cookies. Like everyone says, like on the Traeger, it's probably the same with the Pit Boss. You can, it's like an oven. Just like an oven. Yeah. You can do anything you want. So I was like, shit, I'm gonna smoke me some cookies. Yeah. How'd they turn out? <laughs> a, the first batch came out a little bit hard. Okay. Because you have to figure it's not gonna be like just put it in the oven. Because with the Traeger, it's got that fan in there, so it's yeah. like a convection, convection oven, yeah. and it's moving the air around, so it you know, to cook the cookies a lot faster. Okay. So they came out pretty crispy the first time <laughs> <laughs> so the second time i did i had to try it again yeah, well, so the course. second time i did it, they came out just fine dude that's what awesome yeah. you should try that because you fucking like you eat cookies like i do crazy uh, my my favorite night. was when uh, we'd be at uh drill we'd go to gangster charlie's golden corral yeah. they <laughs> it has like all food groups quote uh, food <laughs> um but we would go there and every time we would leave i'd always he'd get like a napkin and he put like three or four cookies yep. and he just put it in his pocket <laughs> and then <laughs> and then uh like later on like a couple hours later i'll just be seeing him and he'll just like reach in and just grab like a cookie i was like dude that's fucking genius yeah. so like yeah you do cookies, the cookies are bomb, man. yeah uh what kind of cookies were they um Chocolate chip. Yeah. It might have been like double chocolate chip or something like what, that. What kind of smoke were you using on those or pellets? Were you um, I think it just had hickory in there. Okay. What kind of pellets do you use in general? Do you change it up quite a bit? I, I, I went through hickory, apple, maple, oak. Does it make? I mean, you can definitely tell the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Like the harder you smoke it, yeah. Okay. I, so. I mean, I, I know, like, it's supposed to give different flavors, and that's why. Mm -hmm. But I just like any time, like, I just feel like if somebody's like set food down i've been like oh you used apple instead of hickory well, like, I, I, I think uh, i think actually tasting the food it's right you can't tell as much but when it's cooking you could absolutely tell like oh yeah. that's hickory that's cherry okay. yeah, i think see yeah. i, I kind of use a mixture of uh like probably like 60 40 apple mm -hmm. or uh hickory to apple now because every time okay. i ask Vito what he uses like on his he's always just like it's a competition blend and i don't remember he tells me every time and i ask it's a competition blend and he tells me what's in it i never remember but <laughs> you see uh, I, I just uh rob bought a traeger yeah so he uh he just found recently these. right yeah uh, i'm surprised he didn't get one a lot sooner well he then around christmas or black friday or something is when he got it yeah i think his mom got it maybe or no maybe not I, it doesn't matter but uh right. i just like because he like cooks a lot and he'd always always grill and so the fact that it took yeah. him that long to get one i was just really I was, surprised <laughs> i kind of helped talk him into it because him and him and alan came over to my place one day and i was cooking wings on there mm -hmm. and they both tried some and yeah th yeah that's alan right fell in love with it too yeah but yeah because he i think his mom texted him and was like hey what was the name yeah, of that yeah and that's where he's like hey i might be getting one or whatever <laughs> dave so. just got one too oh hell yeah <laughs> I, I would like to get one for sure yeah. but um yeah there's people who are like Ma uh maverick he has a green mountain which is it's still a pellet grill and, yeah but he has that nice. other big one and then he has like a the fucking it's a different it's like a charcoal smoke grill it kind of looks like an egg it's not the green egg I know, but it's I something know similar i believe yeah, yeah. A buddy of mine has but, one of those, yeah. Yeah, well, when he's on, he'll be able to tell you all okay. about it. So, but I need to try smoking water. Yeah. Um, well, we did that at, uh, was it Vito's? Or they, they did the smoky the water for our uh, for the whiskey sours that we make. Yeah. Yeah, right. we froze it. It was too much for me. Really? Like, oh. I didn't, yeah. And, like, I know Beeman, he's, like, he does a lot of the smoking yeah. and stuff. And he did some peppers, like green peppers or maybe jalapenos. Um, and it was like, I took a bite of it and I went, nope, it was w like way too smoky. Oh yeah. Like, some some things you just can't yeah. smoke that much. Like yeah. when I did, I did the, he thing. loved them though, but I just, oh. I, it was just too much smoke for me. Yeah. I like when I did the turkey for Thanksgiving last year, uh, the turkey turned out great, but we used the drippings to make the gravy and it, it was disgusting. Dude. Like it was, <laughs> uh, it was just too smoky. Like it was like, ah, yeah, it was bad. Yeah. It was bad. Yeah, that sucks, man. Yeah, I, I smoked my first turkey last year, and it came out really good. Yeah, to smoke turkey is some of the best. I mean, anything, you know, you, you smoke 
is is better. Have you done a, a like a meatloaf or anything? No, I've never been a fan of meatloaf. Oh shit, dude! That's I'm, crazy. I've, I've smoked one meatloaf, but I I could eat. I love meatloaf. I oh, I love it. Meatloaf once a week. I I don't know. I love meat. <laughs> I and it is a loaf. I've, yeah, <laughs> it's I. My mom's, my aunt's, my grandma's. I've yeah. just never liked meatloaf. Really? Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm the I. Like when I was a kid, that was one of the things I did not like. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I didn't like pot roast. I didn't like meatloaf. I didn't like uh, anything like that. I just wanted like fucking McDonald's. You know what I mean? <laughs> and now, like my favorite foods are probably meatloaf and pot roast and just meat and potatoes, kind of like that. And I, I, I could do meatloaf once a week. I've only smoked the meatloaf once. And it was good, but nobody else, like the boys didn't like it, my girlfriend didn't yeah. like it as much, so we've never done it again, but... Yeah, I've, I've seen plenty of recipes, I, I'm willing to try it again, like there's one that I kind of want to try for you, what all the ingredients were, but you okay. come and you wrap it with bacon, oh, shit. and then you throw it on there and smoke it, I was like, anything yeah. with bacon on there, that yeah, can't be oh, bad man. at all, you know? <laughs> what, one, of the, one of the best things I've made, uh, I mean, this was maybe just a month ago, I, so I took uh, boneless chicken thighs... I use that instead of boneless chicken breast. Really? Uh, I use chicken thighs because they're ju it's more juicy. Uh, and you could pull them, cut them. I'll, I'll do bacon chicken wraps with them. I'll do, you know, whatever with them. Uh, chicken uh, euros with them. But so I took boneless, uh, boneless chicken thighs and I just marinated them. And what I, most of the times when I do a chicken, uh, I'll marinate it with Italian dressing, soy sauce, <laughs> hot sauce and a little bit of Worcestershire and I'll just put it in a bag marinate it and then I'll pat it <laughs> it's a lot of work I pat it dry <laughs> because I want a char on there and then I put a rub on there and then I'll cook it whether it's wings or whatever yeah so I did this I don't know if you've, you've heard about this but I did the so I took these boneless chicken thighs put them in gallon bags with the Italian dressing soy sauce uh, hot sauce and Worcestershire patted them dry and I rolled them so they're flat. I rolled them into like a whatever you fucking call it, just a tube. Wrapped them in bacon and put skewers through them. And then I threw those on the smoker. And then I just, I don't remember what temperature. I started, usually with chicken, I'll start low and like you said, bump it up to 350 or something. Get them crispy. And they turned, and then I started basting them with fucking barbecue sauce as they were getting crispy. And they turned out fucking fantastic. That was probably one of the best things I've cooked on the. On top of the ribs and brisket. dude, that sounds fucking amazing. Uh, update, uh, Chuz, we got a gift for you. It is a Zima. Um, so this is horrible. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're also assholes. We do not have Jolly Ranchers I or anything. About to ask you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> we but, do have some Pedialyte packets if you want to yeah, put in. Yeah. It will foam it up if you want to drink half of it. <laughs> so I uh, just let you know. Last week we did present one to our guests as well. He drank it straight up. So in what, like twenty minutes? <laughs> kind of a competition. No? Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Fine. <laughs> Speaking of. Yes, and that I might as well get into this. Oh, I almost, almost forgot about it. Jesus, we're we're twenty seven minutes in. <laughs> All right, well, no, I, you didn't have to get us anything. What is it? If, if it's more Smirnoff ice, I'm gonna fucking flip this table. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Is it? Yeah, oh. you're, I'm about to class this place up here a little bit. Oh yeah, that's what's up, baby. Boots Farm. Boots Farm. Hell yeah, that. <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. God, bring a tear to my eye. I love Boone's Farm. Right, cheers uh, and chugs. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got a full ball. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate Chubs, it. Chubs, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. We got Fuzzy Navel. I'm not drinking this whole thing here. Talking about taking it back to the fucking... Yeah. Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, everybody says that. I love it. It's so, so bad, It's so man. good. I was good. Who in their right mind brought this back? <laughs> Dude, you know how much money it's made, though? It's got to be just because everybody's nostalgia. buying it as yeah. a joke, dude. Just... That's exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah. So I, we, last time we podcasted, what a month and a yeah, half. Yeah, you you heard it on the podcast probably because you do you listen to all our oh, podcasts? Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, so yeah, you would have heard it when he got the six pack and then yeah 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 you so, each bought one yeah. yeah. So we've been drinking them like that weekend. We drank every pot. We did four podcasts. We drank one and then. Last week we had Harris drink one, so you're drinking one. So we have, I think, two left. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, you guys haven't finished it. Yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> two left. Yeah. Pop them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. So the, I got the strawberry daiquiri. Yeah, fuzzy navel. I has got the fuzzy navel. Now we're switching. Yeah. It's 
good shit, man. man. I love Boone's Farm. Oh, man, they're both so fucking dirty. Yeah, yeah, the reason why I love Boone's Farm is because anytime I'm in a wedding one, I always take it with me. <laughs> I always take it for the for the day of the wedding while everybody's getting dressed. And everybody is always just like, ooh, Boone's Farm, what are you, 17? Or this takes me back. But everybody always drinks it. Yeah. Every don't fucking make fun of it. I'll oh, fuck you. And then everyone's like, "Oh, that's good." And you just yeah. passes around, and it, it's it's not much, you know. Like as far as alcohol and stuff, everybody knows what Boone's Farm is. Yeah. But you know, it's just everybody. I've never had somebody like not drink it when you bust it out. So that's why I love it. So Mad Dog um, Twenty Twenty. <laughs> that's I haven't had that stuff in so long, man. So when you started reaching, I was like, I wonder what it is. And then you, and it was like. Yeah, <laughs> wrapped in uh, whatever, like paper and sacks. I was like, oh, that's alcohol. I'm like, oh, fuck, what is it going to be? Like, I'm yeah. nervous. I'm yeah. like, don't be smeared off. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> like, don't, don't be smeared off. off. <laughs> it could be Zima, but don't be yeah. smeared off ice. Even though smeared off ice is better than the Zima, but. Yeah. I don't know, Boone's Farm is good. Dude, like, like this, you could pour out a quarter of that, fill it up with vodka, and that's a solid fucking drink Oh, right yeah. There. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I mean, it's great. It's fucking cheap. Oh, and, yeah. mm-hmm. How many did we go through that one week? Oh, yeah. So when we went tubing, um, and it was, I don't even remember how, why I first started bringing it around. Like, I don't remember because uh, we've been doing it for so long. I think it was it tubing. And I just think like as a joke, I said, I'm going to pick up some Boone's Farm to take and just bust it out. And, um, and I think it might have been like with T for like I was texting her or whatever, and, her, and then they brought it or we sat there and like shared shared a bottle or whatever. Well, my uncle he came to me with us one year, and yeah. so we we got a bunch, and then he went to town and he brought out like, I mean it's like ten bottles I think or I, I, more. I think we had at least a dozen bottles. Yeah, between <laughs> everybody, and it was getting late at night it was like friday night it was like maybe nine o'clock he's like jesus he's like nobody is drinking he's like why don't i even go to town and get it and by the time he woke up the next day they were all gone oh, like, cool. he's like what the fuck i was like i told you you just had to wait till we got warmed up it might have been the night after tubing or something yeah, I, I, I don't remember too. but we went through like 12 plus yeah. bottles of boone's farm so but yeah that's why i said it's always the best people complain but they always drink it oh yeah um we always get my grandpa. His is the, I can never remember his favorite. And it is the best kind. It's like the snow something. It's like the white. It's a weird name. But if I seen it, I would, I would know what it is. But it's, uh, it, they're all, all good. So it probably has, yeah, 23 grams of sugar per serving. Mm. <laughs> it's just like a pop, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't like, taste like alcohol, you know? Mm-mm. So I'm saying you could add like a, whatever liquor you'd like to drink to it. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's good stuff. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, absolutely. Ain't can no never problem. go wrong with Boone's Farm. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> but I didn't mean to derail it with the Zima. And the Zima is done, oh, ladies and gentlemen. That's a new record, gentlemen. you fucks. <laughs> New record. <laughs> Pow! That's like five fucking... We can go back down about five minutes. You just didn't want to drink it. You had to, no, get, no, I had to that, get rid of dude, it. That's the, had to leave. That's the reason for Harry's. Uh, he's like, no. He's like, I don't like to drink. Like stuff right. that I don't like to drink, I like to get through fast. Yeah, so, right. but yeah, dude, you, you did not fuck around. Right. See, the Jolly Rancher would have been a waste. Yeah, <laughs> what did <laughs> not, he would have choked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, they did a yeah, we can't have anybody die on this podcast. No, not yet. That would get the rage. <laughs> yeah, that is true. That is true. <laughs> These guys are killing motherfuckers. <laughs> Check that shit out. I bet we could pull some some higher profile people. Who? Mm-hmm. Cool. Kevin Hart. Let's go after him. Skies. We're still trying to get Anna Kendrick to, to come on. Brooke yeah. Hogan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shouts out. Yeah. Uh, Ashley Graham. <laughs> yeah, actually, I heard her every once in a while, or tried to. But, oh, well, I'd probably ignore tweets from our <laughs> Twitter's account as well. But, no, that's great. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, oh, so, oh so back. So I did these uh, boneless chicken thigh wraps. And they turned out fucking fantastic. I mean, I had, they just turned out super juicy. So they were pretty much a roll with the bacon wrapped around there, skewered through. And I was kind of flipping them on the grill and then basting them with barbecue sauce. And then and they just looked like fucking sex. So the only difference, because uh, no matter what happens, I'm going to be like, how do we do this better next time? Uh, and Cam has said, we could, the way we rolled them, we could actually stuff them with something. 
So the next time, yeah, we, you can. The next time, <laughs> <laughs> so the next time we do it, we're gonna roll them and we're gonna put uh, feta, cream cheese, and some like spinach oh, in there. God oh, damn! And then throw those in there, roll them, wrap them in bacon, skewer them, and then throw them on the fucking grill. But those are fucking great. Nice, yeah, man. I love this picture. Just doing an Insta story that has the, the fidget spinner in it. Phenomenal. <laughs> God, fucking Boons is so good. Uh, and I've never done a pizza on there. Do you do pizzas on there quite a bit? Oh, yeah. God, I gotta start doing That's that. That's so much better than the Zima. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. No, it, it's, it's a game changer. I mean, it was just a, your simple Thin Crush Jack's yeah. frozen pizza. Yeah. So good on there. Fuck, I, I just, mean, just homemade pizza, anything. Yeah. I just did a frozen pizza today just for... Like a snack on top of the yeah, 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 you're just like, I need grease. I need some grease to get hangover. And I just throw it in the oven. I know I could throw it in the I just have not. It probably just doesn't click because you just, no. you know, really haven't uh, I mean, done you it. Don't think, it. Cause, I mean, you flip your oven on, you throw it in there. It's going to be faster than heating up your smoker in that, too. But Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing with the smokers. I always hear it's low and slow. Yep. So that's kind of what I go by. You know, if you're in a hurry for something, you don't want to. Use it that I mean, just a simple cheeseburger, yeah, complete game changer on oh, there yeah. too. Yeah, it's just like uh, I mean, what do you like about it more than like let's say a gas grill or a charcoal grill? Or I, do you like I've, I mean, or do you like charcoal? Maybe I've, I've just I've never used charcoal that much. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've always had gas grills. I mean, there's always the flare ups and just having the propane around. You can always smell the propane. Right. Like, this was just you have to work hard. On your Traeger or your Pellet Grill to, to overcook stuff and burn stuff. You have to actually try to do it. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, just like a convenience. I mean, do you think it makes it taste better? Oh, like it definitely tastes oh, better. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I, I would think, but um, like, cause, like I said, when we grill, we do charcoal, and, and, and I don't mind it, but it's just, I'm just, I'm in such an amateur cook for me. <laughs> I just like, I fuck it up, and like the last, I cooked a steak on it. Uh, not long ago and it was perfect and I was like fuck yeah I'm getting this down and then the last two sticks I've so undercooked I'm just like fuck I gotta put it back on but then it's like it's almost dead and I'm just like Ugh. so I'm sure for like for me uh Pella grill would definitely be much needed it's like Dude, put I, training wheels on you know, <laughs> and you know for me like uh fuck man like I I don't I talk about cooking I talk about food all that's all I do is talk about right because I love food i I have problems cooking too, and uh, it fucking sucks, man. Like, so switching to a new grill, even on the charcoal grill, like, I'm like, I got this, fuck whatever you want, I got it. And then you end up, uh, like, burning steaks or doing poorly on the steaks. And even, and you know, Candace is an angel. Right. So I, I don't know if she, she'll be like, oh, no, they're fucking fine. And in my head, I'm like, I don't. I don't think they're fine. And yeah. she might think they're fine, or she's just like, yeah, I mean, she's I don't probably like, it. this is all he has. Yeah, yeah. This this is, this is, this she's probably has. eating it. She's like, I swear to God, next time it sticks this bed, I'm yeah. packing my bags. Like, I, can't, <laughs> I can't crush your soul, but, you know, but that sucks, man. And sometimes it's out of your hands. Like, uh, uh, you have a plan. Next thing you know, you're cooking in the dark. Next thing you know, the wind picks up, and then you're just like, fucking, you have these flare ups. You got your spray bottle and your flashlight. And like, oh. <laughs> like, I remember those nights, and, and, then, and then sometimes it's just like, Boom! Whatever you cook is fucking magic, and then other times it's like, oh, that's that fucked that up, and then you fuck up this, and then you're like, I don't know how to fucking cook. So then the next time you're starting the charcoal, you're like, praying to the fucking charcoal demon or god. Like, Come on, man, I gotta get it back. I gotta get it back. But yeah, and then when you switch to a new grill, you know, I went from three years <laughs> grills to this new grill, so I'm trying to master that. And uh, yeah, no, dude, it's it's pressure. And I I told like so at work, there's ten of us, and uh, we take. We have a truck company, an engine, and then an ambulance. I'm on a truck, and we take turns cooking from week to week with the engine and the truck. And we cook for 10 people, and we cook enough for two meals because we just cook once a day. So it's like cooking a meal for 20 people. So we all, like, hey, what do we want to cook? You know, mm -hmm. How much time do we have? Uh, and we all pitch in money. The city doesn't pay for that. So we figure out a plan, and we try to... We cook well, and I think the other apparatus doesn't try as hard as we do, but they still do their best. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so we, we, I think we go pretty hard, and we, 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 we try to do well. And then that's that's like that's high level to me. That's high. Level oh, that's but yeah, the highest you can get for sure. Uh, so I, 
you know, I, a lot of times I'll be on the grill for, for my rig, and then my buddy Bartek is on the grill for the engine crew. And I always go out with them, and I'm like, yeah, man, he's a, and he, and I call him the grill master. Like, right. He's a fucking just great griller. And he'll ask for my opinion. I'll be like, I think those are good. And he does the same thing for me. Sometimes I don't have any backup, so I'm cooking. And for steak day, we only cook 10 steaks. You know, we don't do, like, steak for lunch and dinner. It's just leftovers because steaks are expensive. But still, you're cooking 10, you know, ribeyes or whatever. And then uh, I do, you do not want to fuck that up because you will hear about it for... Uh, do you cook them to order for everyone? Yeah, but everybody everybody wants, the, you know, medium. Medium wow. rare. Uh, for that while, makes it easy. Yeah, for yeah. a while, yeah. Tom, if, for a while we had one, maybe two people, and I would just leave those on there for them and either get them or, like, hey, your steak's still on there. Right. Uh but they would want theirs well, but most people want a medium. So I would just cook everybody. Everybody just wants it the same. But still, you know, you, you, you don't know. And then it's like, fuck, you know, I, I don't know. They're, and we cut our own steaks. You know, we just get like a, a slab. So they're, some of them are different sizes. <laughs> yeah, it's just a lot of pressure there, you know. And I welcome the pressure. <laughs> yeah. I like And the, you're, like you're definitely in a situation to where... Uh, it's just like a, a group of friends or military mm-hmm. where, like, you mess up, you're going to hear about it. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. You know, like, there's still shit that. <laughs> oh, and we've had time. guys fuck up, dude. I remember being at another firehouse, and it was a fucking new guy. He was a candidate. And it was flames rolling. Like, oh, my was God. Like, you motherfucker. Like, he ruined them. Dude, that's so. I yeah. that'd be the worst part. Like, especially yeah. if you're a candidate. Like, did oh, yeah. like do you just make him cook, or he's like, no, I got it, or trying to? I, you know, I don't know. This was this was. Yeah. Like, we always have candidates at our house. <coughs> right. We never, they never run the grill. Yeah, I wouldn't. Not for a steak day. Yeah, like, I wouldn't let anybody. That's what yeah, I mean. So no. like, if you yeah. just <laughs> stuck them on there, yeah, I'm no. like that's kind of rookies your... on there yeah. for steak. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like you're peeling potatoes and you're washing dishes. Yeah, you chop this onion. Like, we're doing, like, the major yeah. stuff. Unless he was a professional chef and yeah. quit to become a firefighter. That's a different, that's a different story. You know, at 19 or whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, we've had guys that came from, you know, chef experience. And right. Guys are fucking great, well, I don't know if you know, but, like, Chubbs, I mean, he's been in the, I don't know if you guys were talking about it when I was gone, but. Um, I remember that from the last podcast. Yeah, yeah, that, I mean, you've been on grills for, fuck, since you were, yeah, came service. out the puss. <laughs> yeah. No, I was in professional food service for well, 17 a little over 17 years that's awesome dude yeah well <laughs> <laughs> but i mean did I, you is that where you learned to cook or did you cook like before you like went to the restaurants and shit or no well like i grew up i grew up baking oh like really oh, yeah and we got to get into this um <laughs> yeah. so like was she like a professional baker or was she just like the she, old yeah, school grandma that just liked to bake old, old school grandma i'm from czech family old school grandma doesn't measure one fucking thing oh yeah pinch of this oh, yeah. little pinch of that and and yeah i mean she uh i mean she was all completely well i won't say completely retired but uh she did like all the farmer's market and people would call her up for bakery and stuff like that from your uh your kolaches, your cinnamon rolls, apple oh strudels, rosettes, all the all the great stuff. So what uh, if you could pick one of uh, Grandma Chubbs's um, like signature baking goods? What would it be? Like what did she have like a go to, or was there like something when you know when little baby Chubbs got sick? You're just like Grandma, <laughs> Grandma, make me make me apple turnovers, or you know yeah. something like that. Good question. Uh, you know, I'd have to say apple strudel. That's the one Ooh. thing. I don't. We, I couldn't tell you when the last time I had a good strudel. Though. We either. have not been able to re- replicate. My mom has taken over the bakery, the baking. Well, it's stuff hard to replicate family. when you can't write down a recipe because she right. doesn't measure right. anything, which is still, I mean, great, yeah. but yeah. Uh, we figured out like just your your rolls, your cinnamon rolls, your buns. I mean, kolaches, all that stuff. We've we've got figured out and actually written down. Like okay. my mom. Uh, my cousin and myself have the only recipe for her dough, oh, and it, it's just it's dude that's it's awesome. Us three, that's it, dude. That's but great. We cannot figure out the dough for the apple strudel is a little bit different. Okay. Once we figure that out, I, the toppings are easy. I I couldn't tell you how many times I've made it with her, but she she'd get up at three o'clock in the morning, put the dough together, then you have to let it set for a while and let yeah, it raise and all that stuff. Yeah. She'd go back to bed for an hour or two dude, and that's go so back awesome. and. Yeah. I, I bet I bet the table was I don't know what this one is it's probably triple the size of this one. Damn. And there was enough room to make two strudels on there. Okay. So she'd make them so big. What exactly is a strudel? <laughs> Just fruit and dough and. Right. I mean, because like 
Yeah, I mean, like, the kind of, I mean, there are different ways to, and I'm not trying to be funny, like, I'm serious, like, I don't, like, exactly know what I it mean, is. I mean, you can go, you can go, like, old Czech recipes, or you can go, uh, frozen strudel, toaster strudel you buy at the store. Well, right, yes, that's what comes so, to mind, but I was like, that's probably not it at so all, so. From, from what, the dough aside, so you take the dough and you roll it super thin. It's super thin, and however she did it, it stuck good, and so you take a layer is like uh cinnamon sugar um then you put your apples down it's completely covered with apples and they weren't store-bought apples they were we hand-picked them oh jesus hand-picked them hand peeled them rolled them i hope everything. you brought some of these with you <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I hope wish. that's the, that's the I wish. <laughs> and then you put like raisins nuts on there i mean anything mm-hmm. anything you can think of and then you roll them up and she had cheat trays they were probably well, I say probably six by like fifteen or eight by fifteen or something, and okay. it'd be a big horseshoe. Okay. You she, uh, there'd be a tablecloth on the table. Okay. And she'd just kind of use that tablecloth to roll them up and just kind of pack it in. Shit. Pick it up, and she'd have to set the sheet tray right in the middle, so you'd have this big long roll. Okay. She set the sheet tray right in the middle, and she just t- take it piece by piece and just place it. So, so, so real quick, so it, like our table is, <clears throat> it's only like three feet by three feet. So you're saying it's about three feet by twelve feet. So you would lay out the whole thing and then just roll it from one side, just all the way. To, yep. So it's just one tube. Yeah. Like okay, okay. It's just one giant tube, and it'd just be a big old horseshoe when she'd bake it. Hmm. That sounds fucking fantastic. Yeah, dude, that um, sounds phenomenal. Were, and she'd do so many, she'd freeze them. I mean, they're just so they're cut, make your, cut f- your piece off, and and then like so then you just freeze that, and then whatever she wanted, and then just bake that when yeah. it thaws out. Yeah. Okay, dude, that's yeah, probably the way to do yeah. it for like, for like the farmers market and stuff like that. I mean, my aunt was selling these things for, and she lives in Omaha, or Gretna. Yeah, but uh, she'd sell them like she's a hairstylist or used to be a hairstylist, so her customers would just order them. She'd <laughs> make them, and yeah. you know, like probably half the size of that. But I just freeze them, and you just cut off your little piece, heat it up in the microwave. Damn, a little scoop of ice cream is best thing in the world. Yeah, Fuck, dude, that so sounds good. phenomenal. Oh, yeah, man. God, I've yeah. never been a baker. No, never. <clears throat> I, I, I haven't taken up the baking part too much, but I, it's, it's definitely different. I mean, it's a different type of. Yeah. I mean, yes, it's cooking, but it's not cooking. No, you know it, what I mean. It, I mean you. I mean, baking baking. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm just saying. Because there's people who can cook, mm-hmm. and then there's people who can bake. Right. You know what I mean? But so I mean, yes, it technically is. You are cooking food, but it's just it's not the same. You know what I mean? Like I have a friend who she's like she bakes her things like cupcakes, like different cupcakes, like different frostings, and yeah. she'll do everything, but she, she can't cook. Like her <laughs> okay, thing okay. is like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's it it's just a totally different monster. And uh, yeah. JPEG, she's not much of a baker. I mean, she don't me wrong, she fucking kills like pecan pie and stuff, but it's not like she'll just whip up cookies uh, maybe once or twice a year or and something. That's why like you're that. look you're looking. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. That's why you're kind of on the market. <laughs> <laughs> because of that so but I'm, I'm just saying that would be uh that's a big rabbit hole you could follow it fall down and so dude man i want i want some of those turnovers that sounds uh, or strudel that sounds great yeah, yeah me too like, <laughs> <laughs> right so does she have like a, a good famous cookie at all that she would do or no i mean i mean anything she did from your just your plain chocolate chip cookie, oatmeal cookies, oatmeal raisin, sugar cookies. I mean, everything was from scratch. Dude, I bet. It like, was just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I bet she the did. holidays, Christmas time and shit were fucking oh. amazing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like when you were younger. Let me tell you, there's a reason I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, so great. And just uh, the dough she used to make like your just your rolls, mm-hmm. your rolls or cinnamon rolls or that. She, You just fry a piece. Damn. Just fry a piece or a slab of butter on there. Yeah. And just so good. Go to Heart Attack City. <laughs> yep. I, I love desserts. I, I'm a dessert guy, like, every day. And then it's not just, like, after dinner. Like, I'll, uh, I'll do, like, desserts after every meal. Yeah. Just, That's why we had those, uh, what were they called? Uh, oh, oatmeal scotchies. Yeah, oatmeal scotchies. Yeah, I mean, really good. yeah. Um, and that was oatmeal scotchy out of the box. Right. Uh, because that's one of my favorite desserts. But that, it sucks to me. Like, if you make it from the recipe it's fucking terrible because it's i don't know if you've ever if you're familiar with oatmeal scotchies no but it, it's every everything <laughs> <laughs> so we do the i do a double recipe at work it's four sticks of butter 
Like <laughs> <laughs> four <laughs> eggs, and then it's you know I don't you know like it's sugar, brown sugar, uh, baking soda, vanilla extract, salt, like every every everything. Cinnamon. <laughs> but it's it's literally everything you have. Yeah, you absolutely. mix that in there, and then you mix the dry ingredients with, and then you mix the wet ingredients, and then you, you know, you uh, filter in the dry ingredients, and then you add. When I do it, the only difference to the recipe is, uh, you, you do I double the recipe, so instead of doing two packages of uh, 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 oatmeal or. Uh, Caramel chip or butterscotch chips. Okay. I do one package of butterscotch chips and one package of chocolate chip chips. So that at the end, you have all your your cinnamon and your brown sugar, your sugar, your flour, your butter, baking soda, <laughs> your vanilla extract, your salt, your, your all that. Then on the other, the wet side, you have your, you know, your eggs and four sticks of butter and all that. You end up mixing those. Then you mix in your butterscotch chips and then you mix in like fucking eight cups of oatmeal. <laughs> the the uh, old cut. The, the like steel cut steel stuff. cut oats. yeah and that's when it's a problem because it's like mixing concrete with a <laughs> big fork or a spoon like a metal spoon so then like you're switching out you know yeah uh, I, that would be fucking my ugh. buddy my buddy tommy who's a bull rider i'm like tommy get in here and we, we it's, it's seriously mixing concrete it, but it tastes so fucking good like this is the box of what we had is the box it's, it's <laughs> one stick of butter one egg <laughs> the mixture Mix it up, and then I add chocolate chips. Yeah. Uh, and then I throw that in the oven. 20 minutes is done. It's so much easier than doing it. But it, it's nothing close to, like, the real oatmeal scotchy. Yeah, you know, this sends you right into a diabetic yeah. shock. Just throw some gloves on and get your hands <laughs> yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah we do that, too. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that, too. But, yeah, it's just it's it's just a lot of ingredients, and then it's a lot of the mixing. When, once the oatmeal starts getting in there, you start adding it a couple of cups at a time, but it's just, like, like oatmeal. But it's so fucking good. And we call it... Now, it I'll be like, this is it's fucking healthy. It's, <laughs> it's oatmeal. It's like you're, yeah. you're eating. It's oh, a yeah. health food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Eggs, they're great for you. Zero <laughs> points for Weight Watchers. So I, when I do desserts, I'm always like, no matter what it is, I'll be like, oh, this, is, you know, it's zero fat, zero calories, <laughs> zero sugar, yeah. whatever. Fourteen grams of protein. Yeah, Fourteen <laughs> grams of protein. But, yeah, no, I I love dessert, but I don't I, I don't ever do like cakes from scratch or cookies from scratch. You know, I've done kind of those things off of recipes but i go out just most of the stuff i do is out of the a pack you know yeah I, anything and everything you can think of it was done from scratch by my grandma except potatoes really always instant <laughs> 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 like that's her one <laughs> that that's her one thing i shit you Dude, not that is great that i is shit great. you not like <laughs> like i knew because i was always around when she was cooking and yeah. like all, all her five children knew like some of our our cousins and that like just just found out a couple of years ago <laughs> that they, they weren't they weren't they've been telling everybody you should like feel <laughs> you know you know what I mean like oh, my my grandma Chubbs' potatoes are the best <laughs> you know just you'll never have anything like it they're Uncle Ben's instant potatoes <laughs> a trio oh yeah dude that's the the one thing dude, that is phenomenal. Like, the I, one thing that nobody usually skips yeah, out on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Potatoes are the easiest thing like, to cook. She didn't have time to fuck with it. No. Right? Dude, she I had so much time to bake I mean, all the desserts were like that, too. A uh, sheet cake or yeah. strawberry cheesecake. Yeah. Or not strawberry, but cherry cheesecake <coughs> she did. Yeah. Oh. Hey, my, my cousin learned how to do that, so <laughs> we're still good there. Dude, yeah, that, dude, that's fucking hilarious, man. <clears throat> that's great. Fucking, so uh, I, I want to get into, like, did you have something? No, 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 go ahead. I wanted to get into the grill stuff because obviously you've been you've grilled for a long time or cooked stove top for a long time. What I've always heard was how uh, you cook lid open like with steaks, you just flip them once, uh, those kind of things, high heat. Is there any rules that people get wrong, or do you have anything that you like any uh, like advice for grilling or? I. Well, I get it. All depends on how you're doing it and what you're using. Like, uh, going back in the day, my Applebee's days. <laughs> yeah, that's they, Applebee's that... always had a certain way you had to do things. Okay. For like so, presentations and for shit. For presentation, like... like getting your diamond marks on your steaks, and we'll okay. just start right there. I I used to cook my, even going back farther than that. Like, uh, the guy that kind of trained me, or who I kind of kept an eye on, uh, 
he would always tell me certain things like like with your burgers you know just flip once don't ever press your burgers down right. squeeze that juice out you seal you seal it in the yeah. juices are what cooks your burger okay <clears throat> i always put a indentation on top of the burger like with my glove hand mm-hmm. yeah you, i've always heard that so I, I, do I, I don't i don't do that but i mean you can't I, with the Traeger, you know, you don't have to. Mm. Hey, it all it all depends on what you're using too. But like if you're just using the charcoal or, or propane, like on your steaks. Mm. What I used to do at Applebee's, you start on one side, and then what Applebee's wanted you to do, turn it and get your diamond mark on there, right. do that quarter turn. Okay. I used to flip it immediately. Okay. So I'd have one line on one side, I'd flip it. Okay exactly where it was and then i do the quarter turn yeah and then flip it back okay it cooked it a lot faster oh. i got in a i got in a yelling match <laughs> with the owner of our franchise uh-huh. because he was watching me cook that steak yeah. and i don't remember what happened it was so long ago and he went out and he ordered a steak or something and had her i just remember it was months later, probably eight, nine, ten months later. Yeah. They had some professional chef. Yes, I'm throwing up the quotation marks. Yeah. Some professional chef. I think I don't know if you were there at the time. Uh, it, I don't think so. something or whatever. No, yeah, I don't remember. They changed the spec on how you're supposed to cook steak yeah. to exactly what I was doing. <laughs> exactly. That is I'm like, great. son of a bitch. <laughs> It, all the argument was about was I was supposed to quarter turn before I flipped the steak. Right. I mean, it does, Instead of flipping the steak, cause I I learned if you seal those juices in there. Right. That makes like sense. pretty much cereal both sides. Side. Yeah. That it, makes sense. It's gonna cook faster. It's gonna cook better. It'll yeah. take time It'll off. Keep you know. The juices in. Yeah. That makes sense. So. I think. <laughs> yeah. At that moment, I think you say, "Listen, motherfucker, I've been doing this for a long fucking time." <laughs> and then yeah. after that, when he. Then you're like, get you get down and you suck this dick. <laughs> that just makes the most sense. Right. Um, yeah, that was me at Apple. I didn't care what anybody yeah. said to me or thought of me. I was like, I'm going to do this shit my way. I've been doing this far too long. Yeah. It's just like, what, what are we talking about here, Especially people? Especially when it's a fucking suit coming in there. Like, yeah. You know you're doing that wrong. Fuck. And you can't do that. Yeah. You can't be like, fuck you. You have no idea. It's always those uh, those memes you see of like the, the people in the suits like with the hard hats and it says, um, you know, I've never done your job but according to my books you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. you know, one, one, exactly. one of those things. It's like, come on, man. Are they getting done properly? You don't even know how to fucking turn the fucking grill on. Don't get the fuck <laughs> yeah. out of here. Right. You gotta be careful with that too. <laughs> <laughs> That grill is hard to start sometimes. I cinched my eyebrow, oh, my beard shit. one time. It was, it was the gas grills? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've, had, uh, I've had those two words. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. go ahead. No, I, I just, I, we could talk about this all day. We could keep oh, going. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you do ribs a lot? I, not a lot. Okay. I've done a, I've done a couple sets of uh, baby backs okay. on the Traeger. I, I love ribs. Yeah. I don't. I just started kind of doing them because ribs are, yeah, I don't know. Ribs aren't always expensive, but I think people don't like to cook them because it could be a problem. So I think when you go to a, I mean, they're what, a dollar seventy nine a lot on sale. Yeah, I don't for, have no idea for like baby backs and uh, spare ribs, <laughs> and then they're like two ninety nine for like, uh, or, sorry for the baby backs. But like if you go to a restaurant, they're like. 20 bucks a slab yeah. because it, people don't like to cook them. So what I've done, I've done them on the charcoal and I've done them a little bit on the on the gas, the pellet grill, but I usually just sear it and then I'll throw it in the roaster and just finish them in the roaster at like 250 degrees for a few hours. But with the smoker, now I smoke them. Yeah. And some people do the one, two, three method or whatever methods, but now uh, I've done ribs twice in the last month and the last time fucking first time fucking pissed me off because the boys had a sleepover I didn't know about and I only did two slabs of ribs Ugh. ate two bones and then next thing you know the boys are upstairs oh, after football man. practice you know and they fucking smashed them so then I did three ribs last night. so they were good yeah they were good but the, the last one I did two 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 slabs of uh, spare ribs or St. Louis style ribs I, yeah sorry I did two slabs of St. Louis style ribs and one slab of baby back ribs and I just uh yeah, what did I do? I just smoked them, I think, low, and then I wrapped them, and then I put them in the roaster, maybe? I can't even, I can't fucking remember how I did it. I gotta start writing this shit down, but they were <laughs> fucking bomb, and then I started basting them. And that's my biggest problem. I, I tinker with everything every yeah. single time I do it, 
there's something different, but I, I never write anything. No, I don't either, man. It's, any anytime. Yeah, I always have to look up. Oh, what, what temperature am I looking for? Oh, it's two hundred degrees or whatever degrees, and I don't write down. Yeah, like with the ribs, they the last two times they were fucking perfect. No, I fucking idea. Did I wrap them with? Before I know exactly what I did because <laughs> right. I just seared them on the grill and I put them in the roaster. And I put some apple cider vinegar and water and uh, duck pepper underneath them, and I just steamed them in the roaster. But on the on the fucking grill, I have no idea. Of, I just know they turned out tits. I think I just smoked them the whole time. Is what I think I did. I did a uh, speaking of Dr Pepper. I did ribs. Yeah. I think I, I think I just seasoned them with salt and pepper. Okay. And I did them in a, a slow cooker with okay. Dr Pepper in there. Yeah. Jesus Christ, those things came out yeah, good. Yeah, they fucking they're good, dude. And I used mustard. I don't know if you do that. I know uh, for some, some yeah, I, I don't pork. like mustard, but I know. I mean, it's it's good in recipes and that. I've just I've never liked mustard alone, so I don't put it in anything. They, I, I'm, I guess I'm scared to try it. For, just from what case. I what I noticed, because uh, I just did it on I think the pork butt I did a while back, just maybe two weeks ago. You don't taste it. Yeah. You don't you don't taste it. So you get like a pork butt, you slather it in mustard and then put your rub on there. Like instead of using like olive oil or whatever else people right. use, you throw mustard on there and it's supposed to help create a bark, but it's not like you even if you I don't cut, like mustard and that's how like Vito yeah. does his. Yeah, you, and you, yeah. you, you don't, don't taste, taste it. Yeah, no. you don't you don't taste it. So yeah, see, I'm the I'm the same way with onion. Like I hate onion. Oh no shit. But there's certain like soups. Yeah. I can't eat the soup if it doesn't have onion no, in it. Oh no shit. Yeah. I, I like, I'm not a huge fan, like, of raw onions. I got to be, like, a, a raw onion on a burger. Absolutely not. It's just, <laughs> for me, it's just too overpowering. Yeah. Um, but, like, you cook them up. I love cooked, like, cooked onions. Like, mm. especially, like, uh, like sautéed onions and, like, yeah. mushrooms and shit. Hell yeah. yeah. But that See, like, I, I won't even eat them like that. I th- I, it just comes down to, like, soups. I, it just, it adds something like to the French soup. French onion soup? <clears throat> No. <laughs> no. 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 So I, another thing, like my grandma used to make, we just call it egg soup. I think uh, the the Czech word is like kapani soup, but it's just an egg dumpling soup, hamburger, onions, some seasonings in that, and you just make a uh, egg and flour, and that's your dumpling. Uh, made it one time without onion. I was like, there's something missing. <laughs> uh, you can you can just tell. Oh. Huh. Yeah, that is weird, like how like one ingredient just yeah. like brings oh, yeah. it all together. So, yeah, dude, I put onions in like, everything. <laughs> yeah, we had them on the notches. Did you just pick around them? No. You didn't even notice? No. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they were on there. They're pretty good. Yeah, see, I don't know. There's certain things. Like, I will never, ever put on a burger. Yeah, my, no, my, absolutely my not. My parents used to take, uh, what is it, like the soup packet? What's it called? The French onion? <clears throat> not French onion. Lipton? Uh, like Lipton onion soup mix, okay. onion soup mix, and then mix it in with uh, hamburger meat and just make burger patties like oh, that. Oh shit! Yeah, that's absolutely fun. horrible. <laughs> I hated it. I split the burger apart and I'd start <laughs> picking out the little onion. I couldn't eat it. Just oh, could wow. not do it. Just one of those things, man. Yeah. See, he hates pickles just as much as I oh, do. Oh Jesus! So. Um, oh, fuck you, Spencer. <laughs> yeah, it's funny you say that because you know he's listening, which is great. And two, we were talking about, so he's getting ready to go on a, a trip. Uh, by the time this comes out, he have he's already back from his trip, but it's for work. And yeah. so we were talking. We had this running joke, like him and Tifer got into like a text message, and uh, she said that if something ever happens to him, we were making fun of how he's probably gonna have like a heart attack and die soon, and uh, that. Uh, he, he's just. She's like, don't worry, I'm not gonna marry Fox. She's like, I'll just marry Marty. He's like, that should put your mind at ease. So it's like a running joke now, <laughs> yeah. like how we're gonna get married. And so we were making fun of. Um, I was saying about like, cause he has shit luck and like his plane might crash and stuff. And he had made or he made that joke or something. I was like, don't worry, you know T Ferg will be in in good hands. And he's like, dude, you have to promise me. Um, you're the one who marries her. He's like, I don't trust anybody else. And he's oh. like, <laughs> and he goes, I swear to God, he goes, um, he goes, if it's Chubbs, he goes, he'll take her to my grave and have his way with her just for all the pickle memes I've sent him. <laughs> and I fucking lost it. And I was like, dude, it's so true. He was so pissed. So every time he gets like pickle stuff, he'll fucking like Snapchat it to us or something because we fucking hate them. And so he just went on a trip to. Uh, Colorado with T. Ferg and his son, and he went to this pickle place, and he went back just so he could get like pictures and shit. I'm sure he probably ate there, the disgusting fuck. Oh, he probably like, was eating them, but he was probably also putting them in his fucking beehole. Yeah, oh, a hundred percent. 
But uh, I, mean, I told him shit. if he keeps doing that shit, we're gonna have to stop being friends. <laughs> <laughs> It's too it, fucking much. It makes me laugh. I'm just like... And lately, my uncle's been sending me, like, he'll eat, like, pickled sunflower seeds or pickled chips. Oh, speaking of uh, sunflower seeds, um, uh, Spencer was saying that he went to have some at Adrian's baseball game, and he didn't like them. Like, they just didn't settle well with them. And he's like, I just don't know if it... Like, I'm just not liking them anymore, and it's just, like, um, fucking karma since I sent you guys shit. He goes, I'll never admit it, though. <laughs> yeah. This is the most disgusting... I can't even stand the smell. Yeah. Yo, they're absolutely horrible, but... I, I hope he develops a severe hatred for pickles. Yeah, no, no, any, me too. Any, anything pickle, you just makes him want to... Vomit. Yeah, I hope he... Becomes allergic to him. <laughs> now, are you a pickle guy? Spicy? No, absolutely not. So that's, that's cool because uh, I just don't like pickles. There's only a few things I don't really enjoy. Like I don't like raisins. I don't like pickles. I don't like olives. Black olives. Yeah, or, I guess green olives. I'm not a huge fan of olives. I don't mind them on a pizza though. I do like them okay. on a pizza. So, you but should yeah, not it's... be on a fucking pizza. <laughs> I I don't mind no. them, but I don't like. I don't mind them on a Supreme. I never ordered if it's like anything else, like as a topping. Yeah. I would never do that. But if it comes off of it, I don't pick them off or anything. So, but there's no need for pickles. Like there's nothing. There's no <laughs> right. recipe on the planet where it's like oh, we need fucking pickles on this. It's yeah. no, it's <laughs> unnecessary. I don't like it. I, and and if they come on a burger, uh, do you want? And they're like, you want mayo, ketchup, pickles? I'm like, yeah. Sh- I'll I'll just yeah. Though I don't give a shit. Sometimes no. if they're big fucking pickles, I'll pull them off. Otherwise, I don't give a shit. I'll still eat it. But, uh, yeah, I don't ever put pickles on anything. I don't like pickles. They're unnecessary. They don't... There's no I couldn't agree more. On, onions? Yeah. Like, I love onions. I put onions on everything. Right. Everything. <laughs> you you need onions in certain... Uh, soups. Recipes, soups, or whatever. <laughs> but there's no recipe I've ever cooked. Right. Or, like, oh... Oh, we need pickles. Like that's, a, that's, that's, a, that, that's no. about the only time I'll send something back in a restaurant if yeah. I get it with pickles on yeah. it. Is that fucking nasty pickle juice dripping? <laughs> yeah, over because the thing is, is and, one, right one, yeah, once you like remove the pickles, you can still taste it in the bun, and sometimes yeah. Yeah, I, I can't get over it. So, uh, but then sometimes like I forget, and then I don't mind if it comes out and it's like a sliced pickle, and then like JPEG hates pickles too. Like she doesn't like them, but she doesn't hate them as much as me. So if it comes out, I just hand her my plate, and she grabs it right away. No. She, I, I don't even want it on my fucking plate yeah but i yet always forget when i get a sandwich to say no pickle <laughs> like because i just never think of it like if i'm gonna go somewhere and get like a club sandwich like it never comes on it or whatever i do every time it's almost habit oh yeah sometimes i still fucking get it too it's like you fucking idiot <laughs> <laughs> have you always been that way for your hatred of pickles since you were a kid or like was it just one of those like yeah, we, no i i can't see i've ever, never liked him even when i was younger pickle, yeah yeah i mean i used to like, I was such a picky eater growing up. Like, mm-hmm. Same if I had a cheeseburger, it was bread, burger, cheese, bread. That's it. <laughs> now I, I almost refuse to eat a cheeseburger without, like, lettuce and tomato. Okay. Right. Uh, pizza. All It was always only pepperoni <coughs> pizza. I'd pick the pepperonis off. I'd strip the cheese off. <laughs> I'd eat the bread, eat the pepperonis, eat the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, kids are so weird, yeah, man. Right? Everybody got those weird ass shit. Yeah. What's the? Do you have a thing now as an adult that when you eat around people or something, people say that's weird or that you think is weird that you personally? Oh, like as the example, you know, when, some degenerate saying, "Why don't you eat the fucking pickles?" <laughs> right, right. I didn't know because no, you mean, know, nothing. like I do the peanut butter and bread with spaghetti, yeah. and you know, like I just that. had spaghetti what last week. I should have tried that. Yeah. It was good, but no. I always I, don't know. I always just find that weird, like you know, like the little stuff that families yeah. do, or people who, like people like before they started making like ketchup potato chips, like people would just take regular unflavored potato chips and dip them in ketchup. I always thought that was weird, oh. uh, but there's actually a lot of people who do that. And so, Sick yeah, I I wasn't a fan <laughs> of that. I I would qualify that word but i guess maybe if you've been doing it your whole life you might not even think it's weird but yeah, i always I can't, I can't think of a situation i've been in where somebody was like what the fuck are you doing yeah i always get the, uh, the bread and peanut butter i just remember the first time i did it i thought jpeg's fucking head was gonna explode <laughs> what are you doing what are you i'm like what i mean you're not gonna have to fucking eat it leave me alone now she's like used to it uh but she she won't do it <laughs> but yeah. Like, yeah, can't knock till you try it. It's so good. <laughs> Shouts out, Mama P. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> but insane. Well, I do want to um, 
talk about you do I just want more information on it, but you do a family trap shoot every year. Mm-hmm. Um, it's is it around the fourth of July or the fourth of July weekend or something it like is, that? Uh, it's right after Memorial Day. It's it's That's always what it is. It's always what is it, the first Sunday of June. So it okay. should be right after Memorial Day. So I mean like how did it start? Like well I know you had told me before, but uh, I was probably pretty drunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my aunt and uncle, uh, my uncle is my godfather. Uh, they were big into, he's, he was a big hunter, fisher, mm-hmm. outdoorsman. Uh, they always did, uh, trap shoots around the area of Nebraska, uh, trap shoot, blue rock shooting. Mm-hmm. Um, so the, uh, when my aunt passed away, they, uh, the hunters club in David city decided to do a, I wonder, I think they started off as just a, like a. A trap shoot for like meat, like your prizes was like frozen meat or something like oh, that. Okay, I used to go to those. Anytime you can get meat as a prize, dude. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good, it's a good day. Yeah. But uh, they they just started. They just just a memorial trap shoot for her, and just did it every year around the same time. And uh, I just to kind of honor her and them because they always they were always big in the gun club and oh, hunting nice. club and that. And my uncle passed away. Just kind of added him to it. So so how many years have you been doing it now? This year was 22 years since my aunt passed away. 21 or 22 years since my aunt passed away. And you guys give out, like, you do trophies and shit like that, right? Yeah, they do trophies now. I mean, they're nice trophies. They're not... Mm -hmm. And you've... Did, was it this year or last year or a couple of years? You 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 do pretty well from what I, I remember. I, I, feel. I did. I've, I've been going. I didn't go 100% when my aunt passed away. When my uncle passed away, I think I've missed. He passed away in 99, and I think I've missed maybe one or two. Yeah. Nice. So gone, like, when you're doing it, like, how do they do? Is it like scoring? Is it so many out of so many? Like, how, how do you keep track yeah, and, and who they, does what? Well, you know, I don't know exactly how they do it. You just start off at a 16 yard line. So you have your 16s and then your handicap, which is like, say you hit 17 rocks from 16, you move back to the 17 yard line. Okay. Uh, that's kind of how they do the handicap. Uh, so you have your 16, your handicap, and then your high 50s. So you shoot 25. 25 rocks from each each position. Um, I guess I should go from your 16s. You have one, two, three, four. So yeah, five, okay. <clears throat> five positions on the 16 yard line. There's a you lot shoot, of shooting, man. Yeah, yeah. You shoot uh, five times from each each position. So then you do that, and then your handicap. So you shoot 50 times, like that. And then they have doubles. Oh my God. So doubles. I, I've never done doubles before. Um, but yeah, you shoot uh, from the 16 yard line again, so you're shooting 50, mm-hmm. 10 times from each side. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's fucking. I love shooting Blue Rock, man. Yeah, it's so it much is. fun. Have, have you done it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. it is it, so it much can, fun. It can get expensive. I like to get oh, yeah. more into it, but I, I do it once a year. I, I have a, um, a a box of Blue Rock at my house that I've just been waiting to get back, and I think when Vito finally moves out to his acreage, we're going to go out there and nice. light it up. And yeah, it's fun. It's fucking, whoa, boom. It's a, yeah, it's a lot of fun. They have a class A and a class B. So mm-hmm. I, I couldn't tell you how they figure out the end scoring. But uh, you have a chance 25 out of 25 and then 25 out of 25. And then they do the high. They add both of those together. And then your high 50s. And then your high doubles. And then your overall. So they give out one, two, three, four, five trophies. Class Damn. A and class B. So 10 trophies together. Yeah. Dude, that's pretty I, cool. I mean, there's, yeah. there's a pretty good showing every year whether it's just old family friends or just new, yeah, new people to the club that's and that. what i was gonna ask is it more of a? so it seems like it's maybe just grown more than just like a family type of yeah, thing yeah yeah so. it, it, it originally it started out where it's just kind of like family and then people old family friends and that and it, it's just kind of grown a little bit i bet i want to say there's Average 30, 35 shooters. Oh, yeah. damn. Oh, that's pretty good. Each time. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's good. It's great they keep putting it on. Yeah. So, does it cost <laughs> you to enter it, or do you have to, like, supply your own shells? I would assume I, you supply your you, own shells. You supply shell. your own shells, mm-hmm. or you can buy them from the hunting club out there. Oh, okay. And yeah. then, I I mean, it's basically you're paying for the little bit for the uh, rocks you're shooting and a little bit for the trophies. Okay, yeah, because I know, like I said, you have the blue rock. Yeah, it's a shit ton of blue rocks. Yeah. I didn't know if yeah. it was like... You know your shells, and then like ten bucks or 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 what, or you know something yeah. like that. So that's uh, that's pretty cool, man. 
Um, and you, what type of gun do you, or what type of shotgun do you usually use? Like I a- use, this is great, this means a lot to me, because uh, this is the first shotgun I ever shot. Uh, first shotgun I ever shot Blue Rock with when I took my, uh, what was it, Hunter's Safety Education course. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, and yeah. I was like, I mean, you're super young. Yeah. 12, 13, 14. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, <clears throat> at the end of the course, they had you, uh, they let you shoot Blue Rock at the okay. end. It was like five, and I, I just remember I shot my, I hit five out of five. Hell yeah. And my uncle was right there. I used his gun, which is the same gun I use right now. Dude, that's awesome. And it's a, it's just a single shot, uh, old BTU, uh, I think 32-inch barrel. Super nice gun. Single shot. It's fucking ch- little chubby been doing it since he was young, man. Just a dead eye dick for him. Boom. Yeah, it, super nice gun. It's a, the only gun I ever used to go out there, so. Nice. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, because I just remember, yeah, you've been doing it as long as I can remember, or ever since I've known you. So I think that's just pretty cool. That's a family thing to do. and Yeah, I, I, everyone loves it. They keep doing it every year and year. They don't have to anymore. I mean, my uncle's been gone since 99, yeah. 21, 22 yeah. years now they've been doing it. So Well, it, it sounds chills. like, I mean, it sounds like it's, it's uh, I guess for the lack of a better term, it's just like its own monster it's like you're just yeah. rolling along yeah. and just keep yeah. yourself afloat which is in, in a good way you know yeah, type we got of thing. something good like that going too like it brings people together yeah it's something that happens every year that's yeah. fucking awesome like a small town everybody knows the name and, yeah and uh, oh, that's cool man we just had a, a close close family friend i mean he could have been like my uncle's brother uh, he passed away uh three three four years ago mm-hmm. and uh he was big in the hunting club too so they dedicated the the double shoot to him, so nice. it's not. It's not only. It's a Dwayne and Mary Lou Memorial Trap Shoot and uh, Roger Clokey Doubles Memorial oh, Trap dude. Shoot. So it's it's cool what they do. Yeah, so. dude, that's fucking yeah. great. Um, fuck, I was gonna ask you something. It just fucking disappeared. Late night drinking, suckers. <laughs> uh, it's like Boone's Farm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sitting it up on the You guys got off easy. That seat was fucking. <laughs> yeah, That's just sitting some, with me. We know <laughs> you're gonna be sweating it out in like a week. Yeah. You'll be like out working and be like, oh, it smells like Zima. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is fucking terrible. Like, yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't want to drink another one. It's bad. Yeah, the secret is go through it fast. And, yeah. yeah. You did, Chase sir. Chase with the good stuff. <laughs> Boons. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, man. Uh, we are approaching football season, yeah. so we're finally going to make it through the off season. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, and for people who don't know, I don't remember if we touched on it last time, but you're a big Packers fan yeah. when, it, when it comes to the <laughs> NFL. Um, how are they looking? Are they going to re-up uh, Rodgers coming up, you think? I mean, I know his contract is up in like a couple years, but they can re-up it now, right? I thought yeah. I heard yeah, um, I uh, don't know if I think they're still in negotiations. I'm trying not to pay too much attention to it. Yeah, <laughs> but what happens happens. It's football. It's a business before anything else. But which sucks. Yeah, but... no, I'm I'm super excited. They cleaned out their defense, coaching wise, which they should have done fucking years ago. Right. But yeah, I'm I'm super excited for the season. I can't remember how did they end up doing last year. Horrible, because Rodgers, Rodgers got hurt. Out, what, he got hurt. Rodgers. Was that last year? I couldn't remember no, if that no, was he, last year. I mean, not. it was, shit, I don't even remember. Five games into the season, something so. like that. Yeah. yeah. Fucking Vikings. <laughs> That's right. Fuck the Vikings. Yeah. Fuck you, Ashley. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. I love you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, you're a huge, huge Packers fan, which is it's, it's always good. And I, I don't mind the Packers. They're not... Uh, obviously, even in the the same league as like the Chiefs and stuff, so no, it's like a little league. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they, they never they, they never bother me. So, and I I like Rogers. Did you see him uh, throwing that football to the guy off the boat? Yeah, earlier? yeah, <laughs> that's kind yeah. of me up. But um, yeah, it was pretty good. And you're you don't you're not much of an NFL guy though, right? I know we've talked about this. I mean, I know you watch certain teams. But yeah, no, I I I love. I mean, I love football. I'm so I'm right. super excited. I'm done with summer already. Right, like, summer's done. Like to <laughs> me, I I have a yeah. I, it's just I have a vacation coming up to San Diego, and then I got to go do army for three weeks in a tent. Uh, if it was up to me, I could I would fast forward to September first and watch the Huskers, you know, play Akron. Uh, I I love fall. I love. The fucking Halloween's coming up. I love the fall weather. I love football. I'm ready for that. But no, I I love uh, college football. 
but I love NFL too. Right. Like, and, and, and that's the thing. Like, I don't have a team team for yeah. the NFL, so I just enjoy watching good football. Yeah. You know, it good probably matchup. makes it a lot easier. Yeah, it does, it does make yeah. it easier. You know, because there's no stress. Like with Nebraska, it's stress at times. Yeah. You know, especially when they're struggling. And I'm yelling, and the fucking cats are looking at me. <laughs> God, uh, last year was Camus brutal. Like, Jesus Christ, you know. Tell uh, you about packing our bags again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ow. Fuck this guy. But no, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I do love NFL football. I'll, I'll watch it. I don't, it's, it's not as high stakes for me, but I still en- enjoy it. You know, I, I, I love watching it. So. Yeah, I'm just, I'm fucking, I'm just pumped. But, you know, we talked a couple weeks ago about sports a lot. So. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so it was great. Uh, and along with September comes, it's always sunny. Uh, that, ooh, uh, yeah, that uh, that comes back up now. Are you all caught up on It's Always Sunny? I, I can't tell you because I think they took it off of Netflix, so I they don't did. know. They did. So I couldn't remember if you watched the the last season or not. Um, it might be on the FXX app. I I, I don't know. I don't know. It's shoot. on Hulu. Fuck that app. <laughs> is it a shit I, app? It is because I can't even watch Archer on it. I think I tried to watch the FXX. Yeah. App. So I I. Uh, I just had Netflix. I canceled cable. I just had Netflix. Yeah, fuck cable. Yeah, yeah, fuck cable. <laughs> fuck cable. I haven't paid for cable since... Uh, it's been probably 12 years since the last time I paid okay. for cable. Yeah, you There's were early. Gotcha. You know, it sucks. Fuck. But anyway, so, yeah, Netflix had it going, and then they canceled Always Sunny. It's like, what the fuck? So then the only reason I got Hulu was, I think, because of Always Sunny. And then with that, I had to exchange, allegedly, with Spencer... Where we we got the trade going, so I have HBO, so I went from Netflix only, and then like the antenna, you know, and then my internet channels because I, one of the last people on earth to get a fucking internet TV, but <laughs> I have that. Do you know what the Pet Collective is? No, we'll talk about it after. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, he hasn't listened to the podcast. So I, I went from Netflix to now I have Netflix, Hulu, and I have HBO, so I, I'm able to watch. And me and the boys watch. Always telling you all the fucking time. Uh, all the episodes are on Hulu. So. Oh, are they? For Always Sunny, yeah. Oh, okay. I can catch up there then because I, I have Hulu too. I just I cancel it during the summer Yeah. when most everything stops. I don't cancel it, but you can postpone it for so yeah, many yeah. months. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Yeah. So yeah, okay. dude. Yeah, man, you should be caught. Because, again, I think they're only going to do two more seasons because they signed for 13, 14, okay. and then. Um, Didn't they skip a year? They, this no. Last, this last year, didn't they? They took, yeah, they did skip it. Yeah, yeah, yeah where, where it came out. So you were probably caught up. I, the last... Yeah, I don't shit, think it was... I'm trying to think of the last episode. Didn't they, like, die, kind of? Yeah, they went. the gang went to hell. One and two. They that, did that, skip a year. That was a couple seasons that ago. That was a couple wasn't seasons it? ago. It wasn't, the last season, it was it ended with uh, Dennis meets his kid or whatever. Right, when right. From, when he might South be a season behind. Spoiler alert. <laughs> God but no, damn it. But, first but Glenn they, died. <laughs> they <had a> kid. <laughs> but no, they did. Chubbs is right. They did skip a uh, season. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I don't know if it was this year. No, that yeah, was this year, right? Uh, dude, I don't fucking yeah. know. Yeah because, it, yeah, because I guess, yeah, we're in July and I don't remember. Yeah, they, 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 they skipped a I year, watch a lot of TV. So. If not, they, it was... Doesn't make a difference. It's coming matter. back. So make sure <laughs> yep. September 5th it is, it is coming back. Um, do you have a, a favorite character? I know we probably asked Thank you this question. last time, but I, I just don't Frank, remember. Danny DeVito's character. Yeah. I, just, I, just, I just 100% love Danny DeVito. Me too, man. He's, He's the best. <laughs> Me too. He's so fucking good, dude. He's in fucking everything, too. Like, from back in the day, like, I've yeah. been watching older movies. And yeah, he's... He's just so good, man. I don't... When he dies, it's going to be fucking tough. Dude. Yeah. yeah. I got a picture with uh, Danny DeVito star on the like the Hollywood Boulevard, you know? And I think that's the only picture I have from there because I'm not going to take pictures with fucking Hollywood well, sidewalk stars. Lay on the sidewalk but, and... Yeah, yeah, but with Danny <laughs> DeVito, yeah. I'm like, I, I oh, yeah. take a picture with that. <laughs> but he's, yeah, he's so good, man. So fucking good. He's what, in his 70s? I think so, man. Jesus. I think he still like he still gets down. His party's yeah. pretty 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 I well. Am. Surprised he's made it this long doing that for yeah. so many fucking years. Oh, for sure. 
maybe life is just looking over him so short. That's, like, Fuck it. That's offensive, sir. No, it's not. How dare you say that about Danny? You said Daniel. the M word last <laughs> last week. I did. I did. <laughs> But um, we just recently went to the uh, Royals game. You've never been to a uh, MLB game. I don't or, or, think so. If I if I had been, it was the Royals, and I was probably like fifth or sixth grade. Mm-hmm. What'd you What'd you think of it? it was, I had a blast. Yeah, it, it was, the Royals fucking suck, but I had a blast. <laughs> yeah, of course, it's a shit year. <laughs> but you, uh, you got to admit, I mean, they played the Red Sox, which yeah. again this year the Red Sox are one of the best teams. They're projected to get over 100 wins you know this season yeah and so it, but it was a great game up until like the seventh and eighth inning we left in the eighth <laughs> is that when we left yeah j Pax is just like i'm tired of city and like and it was a slow slow game like we, i mean yeah we left in the eighth but it was like three and a half hours um and we had been there since i mean what uh, first pitch was at like six fifteen. They started at six fifteen, and we got there like at four or whatever. Yeah, when we got there, yeah. To pregame or I whatever. I was pretty hammered when we got there. Yeah, it was so much fun there. though. I, it was a blast. Yeah, it it, it was great. Well, what do you like about it? Just oh, yeah, I mean, the atmosphere is always cool. Yeah, I, uh, Kansas City fans can be assholes, but yeah, at course. the same time, it was, it was a good time. It was a great time. But it's not like you were there cheering against them. No, yeah, <laughs> not this time. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, uh, I was great. We were way, way out there. Oh yeah, it was phenomenal. Because I know you and <clears throat> well, you and Vito broke off, right? Yeah. No, we went. We went a little bit higher. It, yeah, he even went higher. <laughs> <laughs> we went, and there's nobody around us, so he just. Is that why you guys and, did that? Just yeah. to like stretch out? Yeah. I mean. Yeah, you're both we're, a little bit taller than I am, so. We're a couple of big guys and. Yeah, it was just nice to kind of stretch out and chit chat a little bit. Yeah, where you guys were up there, you probably could feel the breeze coming yeah, through. Yeah, no, though, we were right? we were way to the top. So yeah, I mean, it ended up being perfect nice. weather. Oh, like it was like yeah. what eighty six, I think. Yeah. Um, and then it was supposed to get down to like sixty, so it definitely cooled off that night, uh, and it ended up being you know really well. I we still want to try to go. I want to go to at least a couple more games. Uh, one take G. And uh, and then just another one for like you guys to come back down and, <laughs> and let's just go. Let's no, you know? I no, I definitely go again. It's it's fun. It's just great, great atmosphere down there. Tailgating, walking around, talking to people. Mm-hmm. Uh, those fucking nachos were delicious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got the yeah, yeah. Explain those nachos and like what they came in and shit. Cause I don't think I had I, talked about it yet. No, the helmet nachos. They came in a a, a Royals helmet. Yeah, baseball helmet. Like baseball helmet. And. They were corn chips, and then I got, uh, what did I get? I think I got brisket, and then you could choose, like, uh, mac and cheese or some kind of, like, uh, cheesy corn or cream corn or something like that. Yeah. I think uh, I got the corn, and then you could put beans on there, but fuck beans. <laughs> You're not be- you don't like no, beans I don't, either? I don't like beans. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't, I think it's the texture. Oh, um, yeah, I, I can <clears throat> see that. I love the smell. I, I love the taste of chili without eating the beans. But I, I, yeah, I'm that's where I did not know that about you. No. Yeah, because we usually when we make our nachos, like if he's smoking like pork ass and stuff, we'll do. Uh, he'll just get you know pork and beans and then like cook bacon and put them in there. We put that on the nachos too, and it's fucking phenomenal. Yeah, that's that's like the key. Like it makes yeah, I don't know what it is, but like maybe the sweetness from the baked beans. Yeah. yeah See, I've had uh, <clears throat> nachos with like refried beans on them. Oh sure. Yeah, yeah those are horrible. I can I can okay. eat those, but I don't just. I down on a fucking bean. I don't know. <laughs> so then when you eat chili, do you not eat it? I, I don't eat chili. Jesus yeah. Christ. I didn't, ah! know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were like this, buddy. Yeah. Uh. I mean, hey, you like what you like, but that's, I guess, yeah, now I'm trying to think. I was like, I could have I sworn I've seen you eat chili before, but apparently not. No. <laughs> no. no. We were just talking about chili on our last podcast, like a, a fucking, for winter time, like a mm-hmm. yellow chili. Yeah, I, I wish I loved chili because it's so easy. I mean, you can just throw everything in a crock pot, yeah. turn it on, and come <laughs> home know. at night. Yeah, you know, we'll ready, make a beanless but... chili, man. You can do it. Yeah, I've had not chili. chili. <laughs> it's just not. Ch- I want it's chili. Just... I just want it without beans, but I won't make it. It doesn't taste all. The- I mean, you're right. It is not technically the yeah, same. I mean, thing, there, I guess, there's something. But... The flavor and the smell of everything combined is fantastic. Like I can just you know, take the soup, take the the meat off, and. Mm-hmm. If I chew on a bean, it's just, I don't know. So do you well, make it, it and then just texture. take the beans out? <laughs> <laughs> Way too much work. 
<laughs> way too much work. Right. That's funny. Have you? I'm guessing you've probably been that way your your whole entire yeah. life as well. Yeah. My mom makes a great chili every time. So for Thanksgiving, we do the big old spread, turkey mm-hmm. and everything, and when we get together for our big family Christmas, it's all soups. Yeah, we do the same thing for my grandma. Yeah. Yep. And my mom always makes a giant roaster of chili. Everybody, it's fucking gone. Everybody loves <laughs> it, and I just, I don't eat it. Huh. Well, dude, at least you get to hit the other soup. Yeah, what's, uh, absolutely. What's your uh, favorite type of soup? Uh, my grandma's chicken noodle soup. Once again, everything from scratch. Of used course. To, <laughs> if you can still do that. Like, she used to butcher her own chickens. Okay, nice. Which was the greatest thing growing up watching. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, everything, homemade noodles, onions out of the garden. That was a perfect chicken noodle soup. My mom used to, she can make a bomb ass homemade chicken noodle soup, like roll the noodles and yeah, shit like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty damn good. Um, I think if I had to pick my favorite type of soup, I mean, it's I really like a potato bacon soup, like, mm. and you put the uh, uh, cornbread in the soup. Yeah. But I mean, I fucking it's hard to beat a good chili for me. So, yeah. uh, what about you? Yeah, I, I love chili. Like, when it comes to soup, I'm not a soup guy. Yeah. I'm a meat and potatoes guy. So, like, yeah, the bacon, like, a uh, potato bacon soup, uh, soup, I love that. I love chili. Other than that, dude, I'll eat chicken noodle soup. I'll eat it minstrone. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I don't I don't fuck with clam chowder. I don't fuck with, uh, yeah. I, I, I'll do a beef stew. Yeah. Uh, the canvas made a bomb-ass beef stew not, not too long ago. It was in the last year, and it was really, really fucking good. My mom can make, she makes a pretty damn good cheeseburger pe- cheeseburger pizza soup, I okay. think that's what it's called. Hmm. Um, it's pretty damn good. Like some, I think there might be, like, where you do put, like, some type of a pickle thing in there, so I usually ask her not to, um, just because you make it taste like shit! Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I mean, it's good. I don't, I mean, I eat anything, but I'm not usually, like, a huge soup guy, but, yeah, chicken noodle, um, chili, I just never really liked a good beef stew i was never really a no, huge I mean, fan of that my but. mom's beef stew is like its own food group it's <laughs> so good uh, so good and i got the recipe for that too but nice like it has to be a certain the weather has to be a certain way for me to want soup. yeah it's got to yeah. be like cloudy rainy cold cold, yeah. cold as oh, shit snowing. snowy yeah. yeah so yeah i i agree man like that's like that i love how like Foods change for the season. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, yeah. So now, like, I do, like, wraps and, like, grilled chicken and shit like that. And then when it's wintertime, that's when I, I'm, I'm in the pot roast. I'm in yeah. the meatloafs. I'm in the, we'll do a beef stew. You know, Camus will do a beef stew. I don't, I don't really fuck with soup like that. Mm-hmm. But uh, chili, like, I, I love chili and corn. Do you go with cornbread or cinnamon roll? Oh, no, you don't do chili. He doesn't Sorry. do chili. Do but chili. it's cinnamon roll. Okay. <laughs> it's homemade cinnamon rolls. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, I also do, like, a good tomato soup. Like, dude, in the winter, you get, like, a tomato grilled cheese combo. Dude, oh, so fucking yeah. good. Yeah. Tomato soup grilled cheese. Love that. Dude, I've had a grilled cheese in so long. Oh, dude, I so dude, this I, I love I love doing Traeger, it, dude. Throw oh, that on the fun. smoker. That's a great idea. Yeah, and dude, I always church mine up too. Like if we have pepperonis, I'll put pepperonis oh, in there. You cook yeah. bacon, throw it in there. Yeah. So fucking good. Cam- Camus does. I don't like tomato soup. I've never liked tomato. Oh, soup. Oh, really? It makes it. It's like one of those things. That, I don't know. I don't. It's worse than like pickles or something like that. Like I. Like, uh, you just get violent. Like it. Yeah, I don't really. I don't know if I got sick is when it I was a kid. is it any specific tomato soup? Because th- there's like I've like the, had, I've the, never eaten one that I okay. Like. Well, there's like a Campbell's one that it just it looks. I like a creamier one, okay. uh, creamier like tomato soup. Well, those are like my favorite. Maybe I just like little chunks yeah. of tomatoes in it. Like uh, um, JPEGs used to work for Laszlo's. And yeah, their tomato that. soup that they make is fucking phenomenal yeah. there. And so sometimes she would they, just... They did most of their stuff from scratch. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she would just bring, like, a big container home every oh, once in a nice. while. And then she would, like, church it up more. Like, just add, like, yeah. more stuff into it. It's always fucking good. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, fucking great. So Camus does her grilled cheese sandwiches. And she gets gangsters fuck with it. So she'll do, like, a... Not Texas toast, but, like, thicker bread. Okay. And then she'll throw... Uh, pesto on there oh and then she goes smoke gouda and then like a havarti or something like that and then she'll throw like bacon salami what is this france <laughs> <laughs> so fancy yeah. it's phenomenal yeah but like bacon and salami and canvas <laughs> yeah, she's been gone all weekend she's, canvas she's like a fucking traitor <laughs> yeah the fact that we're like i said that this is 
podcast is still up on its wheels. It's, it's a fucking miracle in itself when yeah. she's gone. I've yelled out her name. I spilled something that gets me like, Kevin! <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'm getting hungry for a grilled cheese. Yeah. But no, her grilled cheese sandwiches are like next level. Like, And I think like she throws like... Uh, like it, it, uh, it's bacon, and I want to say salami, but it's something like maybe brush, it's some other shit, some other meat she throws on there. But I think, I think what really makes it is the pesto. Oh, I bet. There. I've uh, never had one on a grilled cheese me, that me I can neither, think until of. Candace and I'm like, this, this, it just wraps it with this. It, she, she's a big cheese fan, like <laughs> like me, uh, but she likes the, the fancy cheese. So like, yeah, we'll do uh, smoked gouda and like Havarti. And then, yeah, then she'll, you know, sear, you know, both sides, and it's, it's just so fucking good. And then even, and then she'll make tomato soup, mm. the boys and her like tomato soup, and I'll still get a bowl, and I'll dip it. Oh, so I'm you like, don't mind yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> like, the whole time, but yeah. I keep doing it, because it yeah. makes... I do it because I love you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bucket, but I'm just puking it every, after every bite. <laughs> Just stop doing the doing it. Like no, I'm gonna fucking. <laughs> That's great. Um, what's your all-time favorite food? If you had to pick, do you have? I mean, it's so oh, hard. Jesus. I know because it just depends. Like it's hard to say not say steak or like pizza or like. I, I, love I, I think my simple go-to is just a burger. Yeah. What's a, do you have a favorite burger place? I don't know why my voice just cracked like I was a pewdie. <laughs> burger. <place? laughs> this is probably because uh, we've been talking and drinking all day. Yeah, probably my Traeger. <laughs> yeah, nice. So, okay, if you walk us through, if you make the perfect burger for you, they're like, this is the last burger you could ever have for the rest of your life. You make it how you want. Go. Oh, shit. Start at the patty, though. Like, like Right. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I've, been, I've been kind of experimenting nice more okay. where I've been I'm doing my pants a, down. <clears throat> where I've been doing kind of a, maybe a 70-30 beef to sausage mix. Okay. Ooh. I do that and mix that together. Um, I don't do much seasoning on it when I do it like that. Maybe just a little bit salt, more pepper okay. than salt. Yeah, 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 that's smart. And then uh, smoke that. And then uh, what's in bacon? Um, Black Label makes an excellent jalapeno bacon. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, my God. I've heard it's Black so Label good. bacon's pretty it's good. It's really good. I don't think I've... Dude, the price of bacon the last two years is ridiculous. It's stupid. It's yeah. Dumb. It's stupid. So, yeah... Whenever I see it on sale, I get it, and then I'll, I'll portion it out to, like, a burger or yeah, you know, what I might do for breakfast and just freeze it like that. But I, it, I'm, I'm the same way, and I don't want to – I want to – I can't wait to hear the rest of this. But I'm yeah. the same way. Like, bacon's 6 bucks a pound, 5 bucks a pound. When it's two ninety nine, I'll grab eight. Yeah. <laughs> deep, I'll put, two in, like, four in the deep freeze, two in the freezer, and then two in the fridge. But, yeah, yeah bacon's – Unbelievable! It's like the same price as fucking steak. You can get steak for five ninety nine pound on sale. Yeah, right. Really, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, can find steak cheaper than bacon. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that's insane. But yeah, probably those two, and then uh, oh, the perfect burger. Yeah. I say I, I did this a few weeks ago. Um, you made one, or I, I made one like this. So it was a. Uh, it was probably more 50 50 because I've been kind of experimenting with the uh, sausage, sausage, and, sausage beef. and beef. Uh, and then the jalapeno bacon, mm-hmm. a little salt and a little pepper, put that on there. Um, buttered the bun. And it, it wasn't just, uh, it was uh, where I get it, High V. And it was their their brand, their bake that they made in house. It wasn't the bread, like oh, Rotel or nothing like that. Okay. It was theirs. Oh, From their is. bakery. From their bakery. And then I did uh, butter and some garlic. Okay. On there and toasted that lettuce, tomato, uh, fried egg, Hell and yeah. some peanut butter. Mm. Fuck yeah! Oh, cheese. Uh, what cheese? I did use cheese. You have to use cheese. I think I did a uh, a Colby Jack. Dude, that sounds fucking phenomenal. Sounds really now, when you do the egg, I, obviously it's a little hard, but do you like have it a little bit so there's a little bit of yolk in there? I, I, I don't like it runny. Well, so no, yeah. It, it was hard, but yeah. Okay, I mean, so like was... when I do, if I can do it and if I can get the egg right, so what I would do is um, usually when we grill out, we'll make a ton of like deer burgers and then I'll just eat those throughout like the whole week, even if it's just uh, like just the burger, but then I'll like I'll cook an egg. But I try to make it like just. Like not completely hard, but like 
Um, so where like I, I cut into it or when I bite into it, there's just like a little bit of yolk that comes out. I mean, not really where it's just like insane, but like just a little bit of yolk, not completely, completely hard. I, I love that. It's fucking phenomenal. I, I had first time I had a burger like that. It was in Des Moines. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the place is called Zombie Burger. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. It's kind of like Simple Burger. Yeah, have I've ne- never Sinful been burger? to Zombie Burger, but uh, we, but you've taken me to Sinful Burger. So. It's, it's kind of like that. But it's it's the difference that I think is uh, and I. This is just from eating at Zombie Burger and eating at Simple Burger. Uh, the menu at Zombie Burger was it was like a full chalkboard mm-hmm. full of stuff. Where Simple Burger was, they had like twelve burgers. But it's kind of kind of I guess it's, it's a burger place. So they do this every like. Uh, yeah, the first time I ate there, I had a, pretty much the same burger like that, and I bit into it. And this is when I had a. a pretty decent sized beard yeah. and the egg was so fucking runny it, just, <laughs> yeah. it got me by surprise and it's just everywhere down my beard <laughs> i think it was a uh, new year's eve when we went up there this is gonna sound like a porn <laughs> <laughs> I, like is that, I was wondering why your dick was out but um i i mean i like it like i said just barely a little bit runny so like it's just a little bit of egg if i get them on there but uh so that's the burger you would make yeah Dude, that sounds fucking, fucking good. phenomenal. Good. I, that jalapeno bacon is... is that Buzzer Billy's had an excellent jalapeno bacon. I couldn't tell you the brand name because you bought it by... I mean, it was probably a 10, 15-pound box. Okay. But Buzzer Billy's has some of the best jalapeno bacon. They get a jalapeno bread, too. I don't think I've ever had jalapeno bacon now that I'm sitting here thinking of it. it. Uh, I, I'm it's, sure it's I've had it good, probably dude. at a restaurant, but I we, we've never bought it. I'm going to have to oh, yeah. tell JPEGs fucking, to... Good. Uh, if you can find it, that black label is really good black bacon. Label. What about you, dude? Burger wise, yeah, man. Um, it it kind of just depends on on what mood. Every once in a while, I do like uh, an egg because you know eggs one of my favorite foods, yeah. so it's hard you know not to have other than but, pasta. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, I would do. Uh, I would for sure do a bacon cheeseburger. Um, I like American cheese, you know, that's yeah. pretty good. Um, yeah. I, I don't mind like pepper jack cheese. Um, and then I always just do my burgers with ketchup. Um, I can have tomato and lettuce. It doesn't bother me. I don't have to have it, yeah. but if it's there, I, I, you know, choose, choose to put it on it. Um, I've never done mayo. I know some people like do oh, mayo. I have to do mayo. Um, I yeah. To, yeah. Like, do you do ketchup with it or do yeah. you do? I, 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 mayo's like big for me uh-huh. and then I'll do ketchup but sometimes I do barbecue sauce and it's still just really yeah. good yeah yeah that's pretty good I like when you go to like a burger place and you see all like the different creations and you know like what you can get like there's uh, um, like Honest Abe's you know they're really good they have a what's it called it's the one down by South Point uh, H and F or something like that the burger place it used to be right where that guitar center was um, over by Red Robin down there at South Point Mall on 27th there in town. Now you're confusing me because I used to live just right there. Hmm. The Guitar Center's still there. Yeah, it was like it was in that area. They have like a, I can't think of it, um, but I've been there and um, it's good. And it's always, I don't have it all the time, but peanut butter on a burger is pretty damn good. Yeah. yeah. You know, so like, you know, that's hard to beat. But I haven't had a burger in a while because I usually just when we go places i um go out to eat i just try like what they have or um like i like phillies so i like to try people's phillies and stuff but so i don't usually when we go to a place get a burger a lot and i think when you were down in town like with your daughter and her friends we went to that one place and uh, i think i got like a uh, like a patty melt or something like hmm. that there and you you got a burger there I yeah believe, i got a burger so. with the blue cheese and shit like that yeah, yeah. But yeah, a burger like with blue cheese crumbles on it's always good. See, that was the worst. We used, to, <laughs> we used to have a just making it. We used to have a was it might have been Applebee's uh, a blue cheese burger. Mm-hmm. And just trying to melt the blue cheese on that mm-hmm. burger was the worst fucking smelling thing I've ever smelled oh, in yeah. my entire it's, life. You a don't huge really fart. Blue cheese? No, no, I'm not. I'm not a blue cheese fan at all. Oh. I was going to tell you about this dressing. <laughs> <laughs> tell him anyway. So, uh, my buddy, my buddy from another firehouse, uh, he does this, I call it a dressing. I think it's called a dressing. Uh, it's fantastic. It's easier when you make it for a, a big group 
it's harder when you make it just for like four of us. But what it is is uh, it's it works great on steaks. It works great on burgers. And then I guess that's the only thing I've tried on it, burgers and steaks. But so you so for like a big recipe for like you know ten people, you take a block of cream cheese, you take a block of blue or uh, like eight ounce whatever the portion for blue cheese, the same eight ounce portion of feta cheese, uh, eight ounces of uh, Parmesan cheese, and then a stick of butter, and then you just mix that up. And then as your steak's cooking, like maybe a minute, two minutes before you pull it off, you throw a glob of that on the steak. And you do the same with the burger. And then uh, it kind of melts down onto it a little bit. And then it's fucking fantastic to, to me. Like I, I, for steak day, like I love that almost as, I look forward to that taste as much as I look forward to the, the taste of the steak. Like it's that nice. fucking good. Nice. Uh, and I, so I'll, I'll make, it's harder at home because I don't, I don't usually buy all those things. Like we have feta for when we do like, uh, uh, like euros and then we don't always have blue cheese. We don't always, we always have parm. We don't always have cream cheese. So like, I'll, you know, when it's steak day at the firehouse, yeah, you, you buy all those things, you mix it up and you do whatever's left over. People go to eat it or you put it in the freezer at home, it's like, all right, so I'm, I'm going to do, like, a little bit of the cream cheese, and then we don't have butter. Or we always have butter, but we, you know what I mean? Like, we always have butter, but we're going to have cream cheese. We may not have feta. Right. So you kind of just kind of estimate and <laughs> throw it on the steak. And then sometimes it's too much blue cheese or whatever. But when you have just that, you mix all those, mix them up, throw a glob on the steak, let it cook into the steak. Well, it's so fucking good, dude. But yeah, see, I, I try. But if that. you don't like, blue- I mean, I'll try anything once. Is yeah. the blue cheese kind of overwhelming to you, or is it just mixed in there? No, no, no. I think with with uh, the same portion of feta and par. Oh, oh uh, maybe I didn't mention parmesan. I so, don't think so. Okay, so it's uh, cream cheese, butter, feta. Parm it's fucking and changing up the whole taste yeah. game on us. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta like recalibrate yeah. everything I thought I, about this. Uh, he, he, he mentioning butter, they put butter in everything. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's five. It's five things, and I don't think I, I, I thought I, I, I forgot this. It's it's not the powdered part, the spring, We call it sprinkle cheese. It's not the pasta sugar. Cheese. Yeah, pasta sugar. We call it pasta <laughs> sugar. Yeah. 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 It's not the pasta sugar. It's the shredded parm. Yeah. But uh, so anyway, with that many parts of other stuff, it's the blue cheese is because blue cheese is fucking overwhelming. Yeah. But right. when you have the butter and the cream yeah. cheese and then the feta and then the parm, it's smooth. Like it's not like and when I make it at home, it's over over. It's always overwhelming because it's like, all right, we have blue cheese, we have butter. All right, let's fucking mix that. <laughs> <laughs> but when you have that, just those five things, equal parts, uh, it's just fucking smooth. And I. It, like I say, it's it's called dressing. And you put a glob on there, I put a fucking ton on there. And then every bite of steak, I dip it in there. It's so fucking good. And then you could put that on a burger. So I'll do that. If it, I don't have that. It does that, sound fucking good, though. Yeah, it, yeah, it's so good. If I don't have that, I'll do, like, I like American cheese because it melts really good. And then, But I'll do, I've, I've done Gouda, I've done cheddar, I, whatever. I fucking love cheese, yeah. dude. It could be any kind of oh, yeah. cheese. I'll fucking throw it on a burger and, yeah, burgers are that's a go to. When I was in uh, Colorado, we came across a shop, it was like a cheese shop that had just like some homemade pesto and stuff. And I was getting oh. some uh, stuff for JPEGs. And they let us try this cheese where it was just like. They a couple different ones. One, it just like melted like a Listerine strip on your tongue. Like it was so <laughs> weird. It was good. And then we bought just a round piece of cheese where like it was. So you know how you buy those? I can't think of what they're called, but they have like the wax on the outside, yeah, and, like the, the wheels uh, of cheese. Baby bells or yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. That's they are. It was something like similar to that, but like when you bit into it, like the cheese on the inside, it was like gooey. Oh, so fucking good. I don't know. It was from Wisconsin. I don't know the name of it or anything, but it was phenomenal. Jesus I I love. Fuck, dude, I love cheese. Yeah, oh, it's so man. good. Cheese is it's a fetish, really. Yeah, yeah we get the, we get the the red and white ones. I think they're called baby bells. I don't yeah, know what the fucking the kind of cheese it is, but yeah, yeah, you take the plastic off and then you undo the wax and then you yeah. just fucking. Yeah. Do you like string cheese? No, no, no. What? I, uh, yeah, I. I don't. 
I don't fuck with string cheese. I don't know what it is. I don't. I and I haven't had it in years. Maybe I'd like it now. String cheese is something I've never I gotten. Fucking no. love. Jay Pack. Oh, yeah, I was just curious cheese. if you actually. Sh- did yeah. the string part yeah. just oh, ate it like that? No, you yeah. pull it. Yeah. I don't you care. Have to pull I don't even care if you, you pull it and it's it. just half and then you eat it. You have to pull it at least <laughs> once. You know, you get the fucking savages that just take it and just, uh, 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 and then you get the real fucking savages. And I fucking did it once just to bother JPEGs. I like took it, like <laughs> unpacked it out, looked at her, turned it sideways and just <laughs> took it. Like, I'm saying, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, that's right. You're living with a rebel. <laughs> But dude, I, yeah, you gotta pull yeah. it. I love oh, string yeah. cheese, That's man. Good, you guys both pull it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, hundred oh, yeah. percent. No, it's a great question. I just said I love cheese, but I just never got into string cheese. I haven't tried it in a while. Maybe I'd like it now because I like any kind of. Dude, cheese. the best cheese when I was in high school, um, I worked for Pizza Hut, and they they have the. Um, the stuffed crust, and that's what you put in the crust. Like they yeah. just, you buy just bags of string so cheese. cheese. You take that, you just fold the dough over it. And so yeah, we'd always just like go in and just like yeah, just take one, just like one thing from out of the bag, you know, go home with. But yeah, yeah that's why it's the I stuffed crust is so for good. About three months. Yeah. When I turned sixteen, I worked at the local restaurant and pizza for just a summer, and then I quit when school started. Pizza Hut, but yeah. yeah. Pizza was great. It was so easy. Dude, I loved it. Like, I mean, it's, it's shit pizza, but oh, yeah. um, it's I loved it in high school. Like, I'm just thinking about, like, since I work from home, I just, I need something to, like, get me out of the house. So I'm thinking about maybe picking up a part-time job somewhere, like, once, twice a week. And I just want something just mindless, where I just maybe go in, like, with, you know, people who are younger than me, just, like, sling pizzas or something, yeah. you know? But, yeah, I enjoyed Pizza Hut, and it's just, it's so fucking simple to make, and... I, mean, I don't know if it was the same with you, but it's like, at the end of the night, you just make whatever you want and take over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, so it was fucking great. That would be mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it was fun, and it helps that I really like my boss. She was like a second mom to me, you know, and stuff. So, shouts out, ball sweat. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it, it was great. So, we've got a pizza place that's not far from our house. I might think about going and applying or oh. or something. I don't know. Just get some extra cash. <laughs> so, what's, what's better, like, for eating, not for cooking burger or pizza? For eating, yeah, man, I'm gonna get rid of one. Uh, you burger. can't. I can't no. get rid of pizza. I can't get rid of pizza. I don't think I get rid of either one. Well, right, we eat pizza. Let's say you have to. Yeah, I, I choose to keep pizza. We eat pizza all the fucking time. I've had pizza every day for like the past three days. Now, and we've cause you cooked that pizza today. Yeah. I had like a, a slice of Casey's pizza before I left. Come up, and I'm sure I hit us like Casey's on the way home. Yeah. So I just I, I can't. I love them both, but there's no way. Like, we eat frozen pizza all the time at home, so it's pizza 100%. That's, like, the worst question I've ever heard in my entire <laughs> well, life. Well, we've posted, we've talked about it before yeah. on usually the podcast. Four. Usually it's four options, and you it's, gotta get rid it's of It's It's burger, pizza, wings, or tacos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was, I think you sent that to me, or, I think, uh, yeah, I don't uh, remember. Somebody yeah. sent it, maybe I sent it to you. Yeah, but, burger, pizza, wings, or tacos. Get yeah. rid of one forever. Like what kind of wings? Uh, just like traditional bone-in, yeah. bone-in wings. Yeah. Like God, I was hoping you'd say buff- boneless. I'd be like, yeah, 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 no, no, fucking ever, chicken no, nuggets I out of here. I never eat boneless wings. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Traditional. It's because you're not a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck eats boneless wings? Yeah, yeah, my wife. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> Every time. Chicken nuggets. That's Have all they are. Have you seen how those are made? Like chicken nuggets? It's, fuck, it's yeah. like hot dogs. It's fucking disgusting. Yeah, I fucking love hot dogs, though. <laughs> it's just so good. A nice chili dog. Like, I, haven't had, I haven't had a chili dog. And I know I was talking to Bobby today, and I don't remember what I saw something. I think it was uh, something came up, and I was like, dude, I haven't had a fucking chili dog in a long time. He's like, I guess that's what we're having for supper tonight. He goes, that sounds good. And then he sent you the snap. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, fucking prick. Yeah. And then I texted JPEGs. I was like, I want chili dog. She's like, okay, I don't. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> but she'll, she'll still get the stuff That's for great. It, Speaking of hot dogs, so I told you Dave got a Traeger too. Yeah. I, I don't know if he was snapping you, but he was snapping no. me and Rob. He didn't. Uh, during his fire up and that. And uh, I think Rob asked him, so what's the first thing you're cooking on there? Fucking hot dogs. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, at least you did like a frozen pizza. But... Right? Your cookies. Yeah. Jesus. Fucking a hot dog. <laughs> oh my god, that's yeah. ridiculous. Dude, I like hot dogs if they're all beef. 
And then even you have to char them. I, I, I like the. See, I haven't had a hot dog forever. I always go for brats. Oh, yeah, brats dude, so brats, brats are, yeah, they're way better. Yeah, I don't brats, eat hot dogs those, a lot, but I do enjoy them. You get those peppers that come in the yellow can, the Mancini, I think they're called, or whatever. Mm-hmm. You, yeah, you blow the wheels off. Dude, I I just, I don't ever fuck with, like, hot dogs, and I don't fuck with, like, the all, I, I do all beef. Okay. I remember uh, last year we were in Missouri for annual training, mm-hmm. and uh, we were doing... You know, we had so we were eating MREs and we were eating Army Chow Hall food, and they were like, "Hey, we, uh, you guys have been fucking working hard, and you guys have been eating slop. We're we're gonna fucking do a cookout, and we're gonna do uh, <laughs> ballpark Franks. <laughs> 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 so we're gonna we're gonna fucking give you guys a treat, and we're gonna we're gonna cook out today. Oh, dude, that's awesome. And we're like, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I know. And I was like, yeah, this is oh, this is great, man. You know, think. Baby Jesus, like we're gonna eat something different. <laughs> so then, uh, we didn't have a grill. <laughs> so they what? had like the striker vehicles, like the okay. you know you know what the strikers are, right? Uh, I do. I know. Oh I don't yeah, know. it's I'm like a jokes. it's like an armored vehicle, so armored personnel car- car- carrier. But they uh, they're modified so they could do a bunch of different stuff. So like ours aren't armored personnel carriers; they do like a bunch of different shit. But it's an armored vehicle. On four giant tires, uh, I don't, I don't know what the other acronym is, but it doesn't matter. But anyway, it's, but they have heaters in them, so they're like, we're, so what they did was, uh, they bought fucking hot dogs, and they just set them in the heater in the pack, you so like boiling them. Gotta be shit. But they, me. but they got like not even all beef, like not ballpark or any of the, the Wimmers with the <laughs> snappy crust they got Oscar Meyer like oh my the hot dogs yeah. made from like chicken beef and yeah. pork like yeah just it's like, like bologna like bologna hot dogs yeah they got those so they weren't even grilled they were just like boiled Oscar Meyer oh my <laughs> yeah. god like that that's how almost sounds like a, a prank that they yeah, yeah that is almost <laughs> it's like, like I'm like oh yeah yeah we'll cook out that's fine whatever and I'm fine with army food I'm fine with MREs whatever right. I'm like yeah cook out that's not good you know we've been doing this army shit uh, we were at a basic training base so we were doing basic training stuff so we were doing like uh uh, the obstacle course, we, we did the gas chamber, we did the rifle range, the machine gun range. It's like fun stuff, like for me, stuff I haven't done for a long time. Uh, so I'm like, we're doing all this basic, we're at a basic training base, we're doing all this mm-hmm. basic training stuff. and we're. So I'm like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, fuck, that sounds good. We'll do a cookout. No, it was not a Put cookout. these on the engine block. <laughs> yeah, drive yeah that's what it was. Oh, my God. You know, we put God. it in the heater of the striker, and then it was just what? the bologna hot dog. You couldn't have started a fire and, like, stuck them on a stick? That I know, right? That would have been better. Let's cut down a fucking building and then fucking put wood. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it was. So I and I ate one, and it was just fuck. Because you know it's not meat. I mean, you look yeah. at it. Yeah, yeah. You look at the outside, you're like, there's no meat that's this color. And then you bite it, and you're like, yeah, it's fucking nasty and i'm not a picky eater dude i don't I'll right. eat anything that i don't fuck with hot dogs like that i don't fuck with like bologna i don't fuck with when it comes to me i don't fuck with any of that i'll eat fucking turtle alligator i'll eat rabbit i'll eat any of that shit but like shit like that like oscar meyer hot dogs it was fucking gross man yeah dude that's fucking insane <laughs> that sounds Ugh. absolutely horrendous just fucking boiled, and their boiled. own package. Right. Oh my! Even God. if they were charred on a grill, like you could be like, "Oh yeah, it's still a cookout." Like we'll count. It. I'll count it. I probably still. I don't know if I. I'll probably would have ate the whole hot dog, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't tell me that, man. That's fucked up. That's yeah. like worse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, especially when they get your hopes up. Like, oh yeah, we're doing a cookout. You guys fucking earned it. Oh yeah, burgers. <laughs> oh yeah, we, we get fake meat for. Yeah. Oh yeah, thanks. Like define cookout. Now. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Um, dude, Hy-V is has the best brats oh. in the game. I feel, man. They they got the the pineapple oh, yeah. ones. See, I don't so even care good. for pineapple that much, but those are oh, those so are funky. probably the best ones. I go for those every time. They got yeah. those fucking spinach ones too, right? I can't for spinach and feta or something like that. Like uh, those, maybe if those the, those I haven't had that one. Uh, but they have like a jalapeno one that's good, are, like a bacon one, maple brown sugar. Oh, and that so one's so good. good. Do you ever get brats from Hy-V? Oh, I've done it before, yeah. Yeah, yep. dude. There's... And Camus gets, yeah, Camus, Camus gets them, and she'll take them to, like, her work lunches. Yeah. I love when you bite into it, and it just <laughs> shoots out. 
You know, when you bite into it and it shoots in your mouth. Ugh. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just hungry. Yeah. Hungry now. What about, let's, let's get into breakfast. We, this is okay. the most we've talked about cooking. This is a cookie <laughs> show. Chubbs, do you have any breakfast go-tos? Could go with the breakfast burrito. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go wrong you could, you do, yeah, Chubbs, he changed the game. You know how, like, when people come along and they just change the world? Like, yeah. you know, like, there was a type of music and then, like, you know, the Beatles came, changed yeah. it. Michael Jackson, like, you hear Nirvana, you know, they just changed shit. Chubbs changed our, uh, our, uh, I want to say tubing camping trip. game, but our, our tubing, yeah. our tubing game. And it was because, you, you know, usually when we go, we go for like four, like three or four days, um, maybe three nights, four days or whatever it is. And um, we just like, what are we going to do for food? And it's usually just like dogs, just easy shit you, you can pack. Yeah. And then um, what gave you this idea? Like, I, I'm almost positive I ran across it online, like a, like a camping hacks. Okay. Yeah. A little clickbait or something like that. I just read through it and... Uh, so yeah, you just so tell them what it was. About, uh, yeah, ran across something about breakfast burritos. I don't even remember what they said. So I just kind of made up my own right away, <clears throat> with just like your uh, potatoes, your mm-hmm. breakfast pr- potatoes, and you can use like the. I switch it up every now and again. Sometimes I don't want the onion and pepper in there, so I just get the plain potatoes. Okay. Otherwise, I'll get the what's it called, the O'Brien. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, start off with that, and then uh, sausage, egg, and cheese, and that, that's where it started. Okay. You just you Can't cook it. No, you, you cook it, and I didn't put the cheese in it. I uh, do your tortilla, put the cheese on that, mm. and then put your meat, mm. your, your mixture in that, and uh, wrap it up, wrap it in foil, and you just throw it in a flame or throw it on the grill or whatever, and just reheat it like that. Okay. Yeah. So it's already Get cooked. It. It's already yeah. Cooked. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. Flame. So then when you go, and usually what we would do is you'd make a. Well, I don't think the first year you probably just did. I don't know how many you made. I, I made but, a shitload because I didn't know how many I was going to go through. <laughs> right. So, yeah. So, it's just easy. It's just nice if somebody yeah. has a grill. You can turn on the grill or set it by the fire and it thaws mm-hmm. out. Warm it up and you're good. But then it was like that next year, fucking everybody did burritos. <laughs> which is it's perfect because you don't have to worry about it. You just got to warm it up. You don't yeah. have to worry about bringing so much. I mean, I, even j and I where we made a bunch of breakfast ones. And then we made like. Uh, like dinner ones, so it was like, yeah, I, like I think different I did that chicken, too, like chicken year. and rice ones yeah. or whatever. But yeah, you, then you freeze them, yeah. so you make them out like a week out or whatever, freeze them, mm-hmm. and then when you go, then you just put them in your cooler, then you let them month thaw like the whole time that you're going. I see. I, I never did that. I just didn't mind the night before. Yeah, yeah. And people That's do smart. them different, but yeah. I mean, it's just like everybody does that now because it's so simple. You don't have to worry about anything. And yeah. like every time, even when we've gone camping just for a night, like you always do that for uh, like the, next the breakfast day. burritos are so simple, so smart. You used to have a fire left over. I, there were times everybody was using the grill cooking their. Their eggs, bacon, whatever they whatever they had, I threw mine in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Grab a pair of tots, pick it out, and Fuck. good to go. Yeah, and then I just kept evolving. So I think the next year I added bacon to it. So you cook your potatoes. Oh, fuck, that's smart. Fuck. You you cook your potatoes. You yeah. get those out to the side and yeah. cook your sausage. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you cook your sausage. You mix those two together, and you got okay. your eggs. Well, the following year I cooked the uh, bacon and added that to it. <laughs> Uh, potatoes, eggs, bacon, sausage, and you put your tortilla down, cheese, and wrap that up, wrap it in foil, and you're good to go. The following year, I, I added another step to it. So I did all that, and yeah. I added gravy. I added your sausage gravy to it. Like your country gravy. Oh, yeah. that, that was it Jesus right there. Dude. That was it right there. And you, the gravy's in the tortilla? Yeah, or you so, have it to the side and you pour nope, it No, Nope, same thing. Uh, Put everything down, your cheese, and then your mixture, and okay. then your gravy separate. Then I just little, a few spoon, spoonfuls of gravy right okay. in the middle, and then just wrap it up nice and tight. And yeah, god damn, man, that was complete game changer. Yeah. yeah, it is, man. Like I said, everybody does it. So now when we go to be, and now it's just even camping. It's breakfast burritos, and you know, and then. Somebody always brings Boone's Farm, you know, like you know from that. So, but it, but it, it really is great. It saves us so much time, so much room. Yeah. And the thing is, is, if you don't mind, and the thing is, I can, I'm the type of person that I can eat the same thing for three or four days in a row. It yeah. does not bother me. So I don't care if I'm eating burritos. That's it. I mean, it's just so fucking simple. And like I think we did 
the ones that was like a like a chicken fajita ones for like at night and stuff. Yeah, um, yeah I, I did the same thing. I think I just did chicken rice and like a cheese sauce. Yeah, and some shredded cheese, and that's all I had. Dude, that's yeah. all I had for the entire tubing trip. Yeah, it is for main food. Yeah, it's so easy. It's just I was shit. I was fucking burritoed out after that. But. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. When you go that long, but the thing is, is like. I don't know. It's better than, I guess you can bring your, and you could do it. It's not like we're trekking all the, you could drive right up to the campsite, but I'm just like, you're just saving on packing and yeah. just, I mean, for Long's, uh, uh, for his bachelor party, like they had a whole bunch of like gravy and like biscuits and stuff the next day. And yeah. usually the day that you're leaving, nobody wants to fuck around right. with shit. Everybody you don't want to. Yeah. And sometimes like we're, you know, one time we went on a fucking tubing trip and it was like a 12 hour float. Cause it just wasn't flowing that quick. So when that. you, yeah, you know, yeah. when you get back, you don't want to like have to make up burgers. Like, man, just that was start the, the fucking we did the cream can, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Which cream can is good, you know. And that, that might have even, I think, twelve or float might have been before the, uh, before the burrito thing. Yeah. So, oh yeah. But yeah. I'm just saying, it's just nice when, especially if you have ones for night or whatever, you just don't want to fuck with it if yeah. you get too drunk or something. You yeah, know what dude. I mean? It's. That's that's, that's the way to go. Yeah. But yeah, we always froze ours and then just kind of let them go. And then you know, if we wanted to, just take them out and like let them mm. set out or whatever. But um, yeah, if you make them the night before, it works. You just just is probably better. Jeez. But see, I never like like I love like just taking the chicken breast out there to grill it. But I never like fucking with raw chicken. Right, mixing it in with everything else. If yeah. something broke open or that. Yeah, it's like six p.m. We've been drinking since six a.m. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like even trying to cook it, making sure. Yeah, it's, yeah. No, doing burritos like that is absolutely perfect. Yeah, yeah. especially for the long weekend. That's fucking great. Jesus. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Becky's burritos. No. Uh, fuck, thank God for fucking Mexico, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mexico, yeah. we wouldn't even have tortillas. Yeah, hundred percent. Like they're fucking good on. I use tortillas all the time for shit, you know. Whether it's even I, for euros, I guess I use that non, yeah, you know. But I'll, you could use tortillas for that. But yeah, like just bacon, chicken wraps, and then you could add whatever you want to that. But and then breakfast burritos, and tacos, burrito enchiladas. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. tortillas are the shit. God damn, that sounds fucking. Now I'm hungry. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. But I also love. I've been on a really big kick. Like I used to like for breakfast food, um, like skillets. Uh, like when I go somewhere, like not at home, but get one that's either like, you know, based with uh, like, you know, like the breakfast potatoes yep, and, you know, yeah. just different stuff. I like those. Um, at home, uh, JPEGs, you know, she makes her like her fucking biscuits and gravy because it's like her own root like she makes up. So it's homemade nice, gravy yeah. and it's phenomenal. So oh, I've been really on a big biscuits and gravy kick lately. And then um, especially since we've gotten into hot sauce, you get hot sauce and oh, pour it on the BMGs, biscuits and gravy. Dude. I so just did, uh, I just did that this morning, biscuits and gravy. Yeah, you sent me that snap. I was like, "Fuck, <coughs> it was so good." Yeah. I fuck toasters. You don't need them. <laughs> oh, oh, toasters. toasters. Oh yeah, you don't. I I went. I, <laughs> so I, I didn't have any bread, and I was like, I was thinking about what I wanted for breakfast. I don't know. It was probably last weekend, I think. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I went to the store, grabbed some bread. I was like, I want some toast. I don't need. I don't have a toaster. I'm gonna buy a toaster. Forgot the fucking toaster. Didn't realize <laughs> it till. Till the next morning, and uh, I'll, just, I'll just use the oven, the broiler on the oven. Yeah, yeah. That's the most perfectly fucking mm-hmm. toasted bread I've ever yeah. had, ever. Yeah, dude, that's how, like, JPEG, when she'll make, uh, like, garlic bread, like, yeah. sometimes, you know, use the broiler, or sometimes if she doesn't want to, like, in the winter or something, every once in a while, she'll just make toast like that. Yeah, and, yeah, and it works out fucking pretty well, man. It's phenomenal. Do you ever do anything like that with the broiler? Or? Oh, I use the broiler quite a bit. Just yeah. the brown stuff towards the end of cooking. Like, whether it's yeah. lasagna or runza. Like, oh, yeah. I turn the broiler up, let it get brown. Uh, garlic bread. But, yeah, I've never just done bread, you know. But, yeah, I guess I, yeah, I didn't even think about it. Yeah. So you're all anti-toaster now, then. Yeah. There's, no, <laughs> there's absolutely no need for one. Yeah. Everyone's got an oven, so. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you use for seasonings? Do you do you like to kind of mix your own shit together? No, or, no. no. So what I do is uh, I I have before, uh, but I use just use a I just buy a rub. Yeah, I, so I'm, I'm the same way. I do like a Weber rub. I have I think upstairs I have like a Famous Dave's rub. I have a Weber rub. I have a couple Famous Dave's rubs and a Weber. Yeah, Weber rub and. I just use those, dude. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I've, I've made rubs before, and then I just do, like, 
you know, like uh, brown sugar and uh, salt, pepper, and uh, a little bit of cayenne and a paprika, and then I don't make enough, and then I got to make more, and I'm like, this is <laughs> fucking. <laughs> yep. You always yep. got to, and I'm like, God damn it. And, oh, and garlic, you know, but and then I'm like, you know, I'll just, I just, I'd never make a rub unless I have to. If I'm out, then I'm like, oh, fine, I'll just make a rub. Yeah. But you, I, Shields has some good rubs. Yeah. I, I usually buy, unless I feel like, oh, I got this, this, and this, yeah. which is kind of, <clears throat> kind of what I'm getting to. Uh, have you heard of Flavor God? Uh-huh. Uh, he, it's just a guy that makes seasonings. He, like, check him out on, like, Instagram. Okay. But, uh, everything's like it's natural there's not the added sugars and mm. salt and shit like that and yeah. they are phenomenal seasons oh, sure. does he they have are, a website yeah like do yeah. you order yeah. from Fla- you, flavorgod.com or uh, just check out the, his Instagram and, do you know where where is he based out of um I think the seasonings came from California I think somewhere <laughs> no, okay, no? no no I'm just kidding no, I'm just kidding I mean, I'm he would have said that regardless <laughs> of what he <laughs> said he would have said Mississippi Tennessee I, 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 that, that's what I want to say I'm not for sure though but uh everything's all, it's all natural ingredients and uh I were talking about eggs. Like uh, my eggs every day has got a sriracha seasoning I put on the eggs. It's fucking oh, phenomenal. Nice. Uh, like a gingerbread seasoning, uh, chocolate donut seasoning, Jesus. which I put in the coffee. Like I've been yeah. drinking the Dunkin' Donuts coffee yeah, a okay. lot, and the, they have a cinnamon roll flavored one. Hmm. A little bit of that chocolate donut seasoning there. It's, yeah, this guy. Yeah, you were phenomenal. telling me about him last w- or the weekend of the baseball game, whenever that was. And uh, yeah, that was fucking like. I looked him up, and it looks like he's got a lot of good shit. Yeah. So now for, like, us, we have, um, in Kansas City, there's a place called Savory Spice, and they make all their spices there, and it's just, like, a yeah, right. homemade shop. And so that. they have, I mean, you can buy, like, they'll pair stuff up, like, stuff for, like, barbecue, like, certain barbecue sauces okay. and seasonings, and they started making in their own hot sauce there now, sure. which is pretty, so, like, we go there, and every time we go, j Packs will drop, like, 60 to 100 bucks just because she um you know gains up on everything and it's actually pretty cool so when you go there you buy like the bottle and then um for whatever you want and then when you go back you can just buy replacements to put in the bottle and it's less expensive so yeah so like hey i'm out of this and then they'll put it in there and then you build it up but do they have i mean everything like the chocolate seasoning he was talking about everything everything Everything, <laughs> um, but they have stuff like the the cheddar powder for popcorn okay. and and all of that, dude. So next time you guys are down, we'll have to take you there okay. and you can get some shit. And you walk in and it's just it smells so good. And smells we like always, sex. yeah, dude, we're always there like half hour, forty five minutes, if not longer, just Damn. looking around at everything. We go. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you could try out some of their sauces and. Huh. Some of their hot sauce, and I was super happy when I saw that they were making it, that they're getting in the hot sauce game, and so, but yeah, man, it, it's phenomenal, and like Jetpack, she signed up for like they have like rewards, and she gets stuff for like her birthday, like a coupon that you know lasts for like the rest of the year or whatever. So it, they're phenomenal. It's always busy. Like there's people in and out all the time, but uh, every time my mom comes down, we always take her, and she like. You know, gets you know stuff. So yeah, shout out to my little pack. Yeah, dude, it's awesome. Yeah, we definitely have to to go next time. We next time you come down. So yeah. there's a place like that around here that does seasoning. I don't know what the place is, but uh, I just haven't been there. But right. The, the the thing about making your own rub is the only reason I consider it is because they say you know if you put salt on meat, it draws out. Excuse me, it draws out moisture. So if you put a rub on too early, it's always. Worry about that, and I don't fucking look at the rub. Oh, what's what is in this thing? I assume Seamus. there's a lot of I assume there's a lot of salt in there because it's cheap, and that's not what you want to necessarily yeah. put on all meats. But I'm like, fuck it, I don't want to make my own rub, and I know I could probably make a big batch and then just put it in like a shaker. And I'm like, you know what, fuck that. Like uh, the rubs you buy in the store are pretty good. How about barbecue sauce? Do you do your own, or do yeah, you no. you buy it? Yeah, I just buy it. I do the same thing. I got, I got some buddies at work. They do a, a recipe uh, where they boil it and, and make it. And I'm like, and it's fucking great. Yeah. But uh, I'm like, I don't. I'll just fucking buy my own barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> barbecue yeah. Maybe maybe someday I'll get into yeah. experimenting with stuff like yeah. that. But nah, not right now. Mm. Yeah, I'm the same way, dude. And I, I love breakfast food. I love breakfast. Uh, uh, 
breakfast burritos. I I love doing like just a like a like a what the fuck casserole or like whatever's leftover casserole, like whatever you <laughs> made from the week. You chop that up, mix it with potatoes, mix it with cheese and eggs, and then just mix it all up and then throw it in the taco. But yeah, dude, that that's that's my that's my fucking. I don't give a fuck what it is. It could be hot dogs, you mix whatever it is, as long as it's not like fish or pasta. But I guess you could still mix that up and throw it in a shell, but. Uh, yeah, whatever it is, you can just warm it up in a pan and yeah. some butter. And... I mean, breakfast is not only the most important meal of the day, but the mm-hmm. best meal of the day. And I don't ever, I don't, we don't do breakfast here. So at work, we only do breakfast on the on Sundays, sometimes on Saturdays. And then uh, everybody's kind of on their own. And it's the same thing with here. Like even in the summer, like on the weekends, uh, I'll plan to do breakfast but then even then it's i mean the boys are gonna wake up whenever they wake we're, yeah. we're no way's ever up at the same time so it's tough to do breakfast but i love i love breakfast and uh i'll, I'll make it like if it's sunday or saturday I'm, I'm off work like i don't mind i'll wake up i'll do breakfast we'll do, i love pancakes i love waffles i love uh i do a thing called colon blow that i got from work it's with cabbage and sausage and bacon and onion and uh, you just mix that up throw it on top of like buttered bread and an egg and you throw it on top. That's fucking fantastic. And then one of my favorites is just the old B&G, the biscuits and gravy. You and cannot go wrong with you, biscuits and... Well, you okay, I take that back. You can. Yeah. Oh, Yo, you can. You can go wrong <laughs> with anything. Had some horrible biscuits and gravy yeah. before, but... But, that, yeah, so I have that for tomorrow. And I just... I'm not making anything from scratch because I'm going to be hungover. I'm going to be tired. <laughs> so I just have the regular, like, the I think it's like Pillsbury biscuits. I'll bake those. I'll mix up the packet gravy because I, I do like fresh gravy, but I don't have the time to fucking make yeah. this shit. Yeah. So I do, I like spicy Italian sausage. Whether I'm making colon blow or like a, a gravy, I do spicy sausage, spicy country sausage or spicy Italian sausage. And then I'll mix the gravy, and then I'll mix the, I'll drain the, uh, the meat. I'll throw that in the gravy, just pour that over the bread with some egg, and I think we got some bacon to put on the side. And yeah, dude, breakfast is yeah. fucking great. And then, yeah, and then fucking uh, uh, chocolate chip waffles, or chocolate chip pancakes, or whatever, oh. man. Yeah, see, that's why every weekend I'll do something. Yeah. I'll do breakfast, but like during the week, I do the overnight oatmeal. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's it's the crockpot, yeah, crockpot oatmeal. Yes, yeah, I need to try that because I haven't done so, that. Well, do, what's your overnight oatmeal? How do you make yours? My, mine's just cold. It shouts out AB. She gave me this recipe. Uh, they took it to tubing a couple years ago. Oh okay. And uh, it's just you have your oats and then almond milk, and then you can put like strawberries, banana in there. Okay. Um, there's that uh, peanut butter powder. Okay. Uh, I put a little bit of that in there. Protein powder. Mm. A, uh, what I say, almond milk in there, and just yeah. shake it up, let it set overnight in a little mason jar. Okay, and it's just good to go in the morning. You can do. There's so many different so you just, variations. So you just eat it cold then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So I was thinking, yeah, you did the the crock pot, like how we did. Yeah, you definitely need to do that crock pot stuff. But yeah. dude, that does sound good. I'd have to try that. That'd be some mm-hmm. a little bit different. If you got just like 13 mason jars, you just make like different oh, kinds. Oh, it's just yeah. boof, boof. So, yeah. like, are they good for a couple of days? Like, if you leave them Oh, in yeah, there? like, like, like I used to do them just, like, on Sunday night uh-huh. for the week. Oh, okay, yeah. So, yeah. Dude, that's, that'd that's be nice fucking, and quick, too. Yeah. Fucking great. Yeah. Well, what, so you said almond milk, is it steel cut oats, or is it... Quick oats. Uh, no, quick you said oats. quick oats. Yeah, I just used yeah. the quick oats. I, I, you can do anything you want in there. Like, I've tried it with raspberries, but with the... I used a, a vanilla protein powder and the vanilla... Uh, Almond milk, it just came out too sweet for some reason. Okay. So I my go to is uh let's see what do I do? Strawberries, your oats, uh almond milk, and I put the chia seeds in there. Um, yeah. uh, you know, no chia seeds for it. you. I love chia seeds, man. It's I, I don't you, I, I, I don't, mean you can't even add it, but I'm just I was shaking my head no for you to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't even tell you. They're yeah. supposed to be good for you. They were in the recipe, so I got a bag. It last you fucking forever. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, because like in the double batch that we put, it's like one teaspoon. Yeah. Like, it's not much yeah. in there. I, I think we put flaxseed in ours, too, yeah. in the crockpot version of it. But, no, that sounds good. I bet yeah. you got that off Pinterest. 
Probably. Probably. I, yeah, actually, great I, for I think food. Cause she, <laughs> she sent me a link. Yeah. She sent me a link. I think it was off of Pinterest. But yeah, it was. Uh, that's just pretty much my go to. In the winter, I just do uh, like your quick, like, quicker oats. You just heat yeah. them up real quick, mix them. Dude, warm, you get but... yourself into that crock pot oatmeal, yeah. dude. That's the way to go because it'll last. Like when we do it, it'll last us two or three weeks. Cause like JPEGs will eat some, but then it's mainly what G loves, and he fucking loves that shit. He freaks <laughs> out. It, um, last time we made it, I took him. He came out and saw it because we hadn't had it in a while. And he's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he's just like got so fucking pumped for it oh. as soon as he saw it. So he loves that shit. It's, it's good. Oh, whoa. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Hey, real quick. Sorry, Coco. When you do the crock pot, do you do a liner in your crock pot or no liner? No liner. That's what's Thank up. You. Yeah, that's what's up. I think it. I didn't make made liners. Them. I guess so. I've never used one. Like, are you talking like foil? No. Uh, it's like a. It's like a plastic liner that you put in. Like so, a turkey bag or something. Yeah. So when you're done, you just pull up. Like, you, there's no cleanup. You just take that. And you just throw it away. Yeah, I, I mean it's convenient, but it seems work. like a waste of fucking money. Yeah, that's that's what. And we we got into a, a Twitter beef. I don't remember. I don't even remember how it started. It might have started with a Q and A question or whatever. But his his brother Vito uh, uses them, and then we said at the end of one of the podcasts, I said if you use. Uh, Crockpot liners, go fuck yourself. And then his, <laughs> his brother Vito was like, "Hey, I use them and." We made fun of them on Twitter, and then we. I, were, can't, I uh, think I've seen that. I, yeah. I can't think of a time I've used a crock pot where I fucked it up bad enough no. that I would have needed. That's that's you my, know that's my stance. Is like uh, I have two crock pots and a roaster, and even when I cook whatever in them, like they're non-stick. Yeah. So it's even I usually don't even have to let them soak. Like I could just use hot water and get them out, and I use a, my scrub brush. Even if I had to let them soak, I'd let them soak. I would never use a, a crock yeah. crock pot. Like. I think we've talked about this for the last <laughs> six podcasts. <laughs> it's great. It was Vito, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the one who said, and what he said, I, I said it last week, but it was just like that's like using, uh, um, like a trash can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's been a long day. <laughs> he said it's, it's like um, not using a crock pot liner is like not using a trash bag for the bin. No, and, that's and, not and, even fucking close. <laughs> not even I, I, I get close. it if you want to do. I don't mind like scrubbing a pot, so it you know it doesn't bother me. Yeah, and you can so. put a pot in the sink. You can't put your trash can in the sink. You, know? <laughs> well, you should have seen the shit I threw in my trash can this morning. <laughs> Disgusting. The body, yeah, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it was a fucking hooker. <laughs> See, you don't you don't put it all in the same trash can though. You gotta spread that shit you out. You gotta cut it up. You gotta spread it out. Put it in your neighbor's trash can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Smart. Well, you gotta use a lot of bleach. <laughs> Believe me. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's great, man. Yeah. So I would. Uh, I mean, I love breakfast. I love all breakfast. I love getting up early, going for breakfast. Um, if I had to choose like breakfast, lunch, or dinner to go out, I would love to just to go out for breakfast. Yeah. But I mean, I also like cooking at home stuff too. But mm-hmm. man, just fucking breakfast food is the best. Yeah, I, I would go out for breakfast in the morning and then make breakfast for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. You know, uh, yeah. pancakes or waffles. Fuck, if you had to choose. <laughs> Fuck, I pancakes because I don't own a waffle maker. <laughs> yeah, you. But I love me some waffles. Yeah. Making or making it or eating? Uh, both. Do both. So what would if you had to make one or the other? Yeah, just answer them both. I would say waffles if I had to make them. Okay. And I would say pancakes if they were given to me. Nice. I lo- I love them both. Um, but at our house we make waffles all the time. JPEX has a great homemade recipe for waffles, and we have a waffle maker. Nice. And uh, so. Uh, we do that, but I mean, I love pancakes too. Usually, I'll get pancakes if we go out because we never make them at home. But uh, if I had to choose, I would probably say well, I would keep waffles over pancakes to eat. But yeah, I mean, usually just do like blueberry every once in a while, like bananas. You throw them in there, and it's fucking phenomenal. Bacon or sausage? Pick one. I hate that. Yeah. So you have to pick bacon. one. So honestly, yeah, it, it, it really is tough. So when I was younger, I would always go sausage and i was just like i love bacon but like i like bacon's like with stuff not just usually just like you know straight bacon like if bacon's like cut up and put into stuff um you know i enjoy it just as much 
Um, now that I got older, I'm, I'm more of a stalemate. I don't know which one. And when it comes to sausage, I like patties over links. Yeah. I like patties over links, too. Yeah. yeah. But I like ground sausage, too. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, I think, uh, like Chubbs was saying, like, you add that. You could add that to hamburger. <laughs> I throw that in gravy. I throw, like, uh, and I, I always, in colon blow, too. Like, I roll with fucking spicy sausage, mm-hmm. you know? Of yeah. course, it's your name. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a different flavor. I don't really fuck with chorizo that much, but like I don't just, mind it every once in a while. I would never cook with it, but sometimes if I go a place and, and it, it's available, um, because it's a little bit spicier, I've been going with it lately. Mm-hmm. So, but that's just more of a spice factor. But I, I we never cook cook it at home or cook with it at uh, home. So I just I don't think we would know how to. You know what I mean? It just wouldn't be. Yeah, you could use it just like. Uh, it it breaks apart. Just it's like ground beef or ground sauce. The, yeah. the chorizo I fuck with. So we've even used that like as a base. Like yeah. instead of using like vegetable oil or olive oil, like you just cut the end of the tube and then cook down the chorizo and then you can throw shit on top of that. So instead of using like butter or olive oil or, but I, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's spicy. You can get a spicy. But... You're spicy. Hey, oh! <laughs> <laughs> True. But yeah, I just, just straight up chorizo and like eggs or something like that. Like I don't, I don't love it. It's greasy as fuck. Oh, it is Which greasy. I like greasy, so I, I have to mix it with something else. That does make sense. Yeah, that would be good to mix with some like something else to put in, maybe some like gravy sausage to throw over some biscuits. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it is, man. I mean, I, I know we haven't talked about it yet. We should probably get into some food topics here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's talk about lunch. Like, yeah, we lunch once. That's, we gotta get it. that's true. What do you like for a good lunch? Like, what what's like a... And the thing is, like, it's weird. Like, yeah, I could have a burger for lunch, like, easily mm-hmm. and stuff. But, like, what's a good... I feel like a, a good, like, nice sandwich place is a good, you know, for sandwich. Lunch. Or can we go back to the tortillas, you know? Yeah. And we go with, like, a wrap. Yeah. A little buffalo. Like, fucking mixing, mixing bacon with anything is good. But when you mix bacon with chicken, like, that's, that's oh, fucking yeah. magic. Dude. Yeah. You know? So, like, one of my favorite... One of my favorite meals, because it's easy as fuck, is just, like, a bacon chicken wrap. And I I don't fuck with chicken breast anymore. I, I fucks with boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Right. You could grill them. You could throw them in a... You, you, could, chop, you could grill them and then chop them, or you could chop them and throw them in a skillet. You just warm those up with some seasoning, and then you cut a bacon. What are, however you do bacon. Like, mm-hmm. sometimes I oven cook it. Some, most of the time I oven cook it. You have you chop that smoked up? it yet? I've not smoked bacon. We got to, we got, we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, game I wanna changer. Know. I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, you do that. And then the thing about um, like chicken bacon wraps is everybody can dress them however they want. So usually I'll have feta cheese, like sliced cheddar cheese, uh, onion, or whatever, whatever you want. Tomatoes, avocado, spinach. Whatever you want to put in your mm. tortilla with it, you could do it. You could put barbecue sauce. You could go buffalo sauce. But you, you just have your tortilla. And you throw your, excuse me, your chicken in. You could throw bacon in. You could throw avocado, tomato, whatever you want. You dress it however you want. And on top of that, I usually do like a, a home fries or sweet potato fries with that. And that's just, that's just a great meal to me because uh, it's solid. And then anybody, it's a different meal for everybody. You know, if you want a yeah. barbecue chicken wrap, you could do that. If you want a buffalo chicken wrap, you could do that. If you want it plain, you could do that. You could add to it whatever you want. You know what I think would be good in it would be, like, I would like it. So, like, grilled chicken that you said yeah. that you do. So, yeah, grilled chicken. I would do, like, a little little bit of lettuce. Maybe, like, a little bit of... Wrong. Dor- <laughs> uh, <laughs> a little bit of, like, Dorothy Lynch. And then, like, the tortilla, like, just the strips. Like, No. <laughs> you can do whatever you want except for exactly. that. There's no we don't we will not that is wrong. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Green out. Yeah, no. No lettuce. No lettuce. No, no I'm just kidding, dude. Yeah, that and that's the thing. Like whoever you want to make it, like you can have six people over, everybody could have a different 
thing, but it's all, you know. Mm-hmm. And I like to do like a, like a potato. You can do a potato however, like home fries or sweet potato fries or whatever, and then a veggie. But, yeah, I, I love that because it's such an easy meal, and it's, it's fucking delicious, dude. Like, I usually keep it pretty fucking classy. Uh, just chicken, bacon, a little cut up spinach, some feta. And then I usually go buffalo sauce. You know, but, hell yeah! yeah I, I like doing chicken in the slow cooker. Yeah, it just pour sauce over it. Yeah. Oh god, that's so good. You can use that yeah. for about anything too. Yeah, I can't, my girlfriend uses a a mix. It's a packet, and I can't remember what the fuck's in it. It's like <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like a my my heat on lime, or it's like some kind of fucking lime. It's like a salsa lime deal, and she'll throw it in the crock pot. And just let that fucking sit all day. And then you could chop that up and put it in whatever. But Yeah, man. But, yeah, chicken's fucking... Chicken and bacon. That's It's like a great fucking combo. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is absolutely phenomenal. Mm-hmm. So... <clears throat> fucking wraps, man. Yeah, that, it's, it's great. I like a, a good sandwich, man. I, I had... Uh, I went to uh, like Subway the other day, and it's not like no. obviously the <laughs> it's not obviously the best um, sandwich place, but it's it's like a nice like reliable place. I think they said there's like more Subways than any other restaurant. I ever. swear to God, there's a Subway every quarter mile. Yeah, I, I'm all right with that. Like, I don't mind it, but I got like their the um, like the steak and cheese whatever, and I had like yeah. green peppers, jalapenos put on it. It was fucking phenomenal. It was so good, but my all-time favorite sub place is Firehouse Subs, oh, for so sure. Good. It's, and there's one that's like, it's like 30 minutes away from us, so I haven't been for a while. <laughs> it's so far away, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, the, the place is good. Yeah, Firehouse Subs is good. I don't really fuck with uh, Subway, but I mean about Subway, it's so convenient because it's fucking everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather go out of my way a little bit for something. Yeah, I'm a little not a, bit better. I'm not a cool sandwich guy. I like how sandwiches. So I, I always get Quiznos. mine. I always get mine like toasted. Yeah, when I'm yeah, at Subway, Subway, yeah so. they to, they do toast them. I don't like Quiznos or like a Blimpies, but yeah, I don't usually fuck with uh, Subway. But yeah, they do make, and you can watch them make it, so you know, like they're not fucking jizzing in your food unless you want that <laughs> kind of thing. I like good sense. Oh yeah, oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's so good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just don't fuck with sandwiches like that, like cold sandwiches. Like, I like Phillies. I like Fr- French dips are fucking great. And we do a good uh, French dip at work where uh, we, we're, like, in my part of town, like, there's a bunch of meat packing places, and they have a wholesaler. So we go to that place, and we get, like, ball tip sirloin. And th- that place, they sell it to restaurants all over the city. So we get, like, ball tip, and he usually comes in, like, four or five packs like a, it's like a 15 pound bag. We just chop that up, trim it, and we'll sear it, uh, and throw it in the oven and roast it for hours. And mm. then we could trim it to whatever we want, want to do. Nice. And then for the French dips, we, uh, on our bread, we'll mix up, uh, it's, it's easy. It's uh, horseradish, cream cheese, and uh, garlic. We just mix that up. You throw that on the bread, and then we'll make our au jus. So yeah, you just throw the French, uh, what is it? Cream cheese, um, horseradish, and garlic. Mix that up. Throw it on the bread. Throw the meat on there. Throw some Swiss or provolone or however you want to do it, pepper jack. Fuck yeah. And then dip that in the au jus. A, a Jew? French dip. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what part of the Jew? Yeah. Well, you know, no, French dips. And that's yeah. where I'm at. Like, when it comes right. to lunch, like, I'm... I don't like cold sandwiches. I, I fuck around with I'll do it. Yeah, I like warm day. sandwiches, like, but if oh, I had yeah. to choose 100% all day. Oh. I mean, I don't mind sitting down just eating, like, a good, like, turkey sandwich. But that's usually at home, but I won't usually go out and get it. But, yeah, I love love a good warm sandwich. Nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal, man. Yeah. Fucking so hungry now. We've yeah. been eating since I got here. Yeah, we've been, been talking non-stop. about food for the whole fucking podcast. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. You can talk about food for days. Oh, me too. What's the... Um, <clears throat> yeah, I lost my question. I don't know where I, I was going to go with that. <laughs> Chubbs, what are you watching? Are you watching anything on Netflix or what's... Any new movies or what do you what do you went to for... Because we, we have to ask that because 
I'm big in we're big into Netflix and what people are watching. Um, I can't think of anything right now. Uh, all the all the superhero stuff. Yeah, he's big in the superhero. Uh, like watched the Arrow, Flash, Last or... Avengers, the movie. No, I haven't seen the Last oh. Avengers, but like talking Netflix, if you're into the superhero stuff, like Daredevil is phenomenal. Okay. Yeah. Off of Netflix, The Punisher it is great. Is great. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then you get into Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and Iron Fist. Yeah, we we're all caught up. <laughs> we're all ca- Iron Fist. Is shit. Yeah, man. I would get <laughs> horrible. I would get so faded to watch it, and I, I honestly because I was getting so faded, I was looking forward to watching it because it's so bad. Don't it is it. awful, but it's like the good awful. You know, I guess at least for me because I'd be like. I'd be so high. I'd be like, what is going on? And I'd be like half texting like you and Spencer about it. Um, but yeah, we do. We haven't watched or we haven't even started up the second season of Luke Cage yet. I, I, I know that's been or Jessica out. Jones either. Oh, you, we got either. through it. It's good. Is it's it fucking good. Season? Yeah, she's so phenomenal. But yeah, if you like that stuff, I enjoy it, man. Like Daredevil, all of that. And there's a certain order you should watch them because there's one where they came out with where it's all of them. It's only like eight episodes long. The Defenders. Yeah, The Defenders. So, yeah, you have to watch the first season of, well, you can watch both seasons of Daredevil. Yeah, Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and I kept going through Iron Fist. Like, is this over yet so I can yeah. watch The Defenders? Because Defenders had already come out, too. I was that far behind, but... Huh. Yeah, so and Defenders are pretty damn good. Yeah, yeah, they're all connected. Like how the yeah. movies are, okay. like they're all Marvel connected. Yeah, because they, they all take place in New York City and they like cross over with each other, like okay. in their own seasons, like every once in a while. But then it's like, uh, what's her name uh, in real life? Is it Rosario Dawson? Is that the nurse? She's in like every yeah. single. She's yeah. like a big part, like every single. Like yeah, she crosses she, yeah, all she, over like, between all, all of them. them. Yeah. Um, so it, it's good if you like that stuff. And the thing is, is if you since you haven't started it. You can get into it and, and watch it, but I mean, there's gonna be obviously some cheesy episodes and stuff. But I mean, it's Marvel; they know how to do superhero oh, yeah. stuff, yeah. so it's. Oh, yeah, you know, the Punisher pretty... was so fantastic. Yeah, it was great. I, I was hoping they'd get him in the Defender somehow, but yeah, um, he might. I guess you don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, but it's the guy who plays Shane off Walking Dead. I can't think of his name, his real oh, name. Yeah, he plays. Yeah, yeah, he plays the Punisher, and he does a phenomenal okay. job. So. Um, but yeah, man, it, it's, yeah. It, it's great. And I know you watch like Flash and Arrow, um, because you know, we talk about that when yeah. it's on. I tell you, I was so disappointed at the season of Arrow. I went back and t- I started watching like season two and oh, season three of Arrow. Dude, they're so good that, back then, yeah. man. So phenomenal. I mean, I don't, you know, I love all TV, so it's whatever. There's some times where I'm just like, eh. It's what, but I love, uh, Steve DeMille, so he's the guy yeah. who plays Arrow and yeah, he's great. Um, and I don't know why I was going to make it a drink not to take this away from TV and back to cooking, but did you talk about smoking the bacon on the Traeger? No, we did not talk about Because I know you wanted to get to it, so <laughs> yeah. I didn't want... Um, I mean, we could move on to something else, but if you want to... Uh, so no, is there, we're, we're, we're before talking about we, cooking. Let's, <laughs> let's talk about smoking bacon, because I've never even considered it. Uh, it <clears throat> I don't even know what to tell you. It's, just, it's better than anything else. Like, I will never, ever put bacon in a skillet ever again. No shit. Yeah. Do you? What do you put it? What do you put it on? I grates. Oh, you do. So you don't even put it on the pan. Yeah, yeah, I I don't know how yours is, but the Traeger has. It's got the, it's got a drip pan. Okay. So it, it's angled, then it goes out, and then it goes into a a, a little like a, can. Okay, that's all the pit boss is too. Yeah. And I just I foil the shit out every time. Yeah. I, no matter what I cook, I foil it. Yeah. So yeah, I got I got. If you want to too, what I do on mine is you know those grill pads you can buy. Hmm. They're they're like nonstick grill pads and uh. It basically so stuff doesn't stick to your grates, on like normal grills. You've probably seen like uh, they come in like rolls. Yeah, just a I little roll. No idea. Oh yeah, it's kind of <laughs> like a crock know. pot liner. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no idea. Well, only I better. I I'm sure you'll see them if you grill pads, like for grabbing the grill, like the I, I guess. I no, just... it's like a it's like a sheet. Okay. You lay it on the grill. Lay so it on the oh, grill. No, I, no. You, it still cooks through. You get your grill marks and everything like, like that. Is it like parchment paper? Or? A, kind of, something okay. like that. Uh, but I put that over top of the foil, okay. and all the grease and everything just kind of slides down. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. yeah, there's a so. uh, funny one of those... Uh, <laughs> 
like late night com- TV commercial ones. Like, are you tired of cleaning your grill? Yeah, you know, the people who are like, like fucked that. up. Yeah. Like you could buy this. It's like a Japanese thing. And they're, they're like, and it still gives you the grill marks. And it's pretty much so, you know, like nothing sticks to it. You don't have to clean your grill. But yeah, if you use it for like the drip part, that would be perfect. Yeah. So, but well, yeah, that works. And I just throw the bacon straight on there and uh, it just smoke it. How I, long does it t- usually take? Uh, I've never actually timed it. So like it's, <laughs> like a, I, it depends on what temperature you set it at too. Okay. If you if you want a hard smoke and just go on your low smoke setting, it's going to take a little bit longer. But okay. uh, I usually most of the stuff I do, I start off at two twenty five. Okay. And if I feel I need like more of a bark on there or something, I'll crank it up a little bit. But okay. I just feel like I wouldn't want to like you know like wake up and then like wait two hours for bacon to cook. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just, I, like, I didn't know it doesn't it take that. Long. I mean, you, you can kind of crank it up too. You're still going to get a smoky flavor out of yeah. it, just less of a smoky flavor if you cook it at 350 versus 225 or 300 versus 225. Yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah, Pax, you were asking about like the flavor, right? So like uh, with the with the propane like grill, like I've never had a propane grill where you taste the propane kind of, but it's there's no flavor from it. With the with the pellet smoker, no matter what kind of pellet smoker it is, uh. the heat source comes from like a burner and it throws pellets. It's got a, a auger, yeah, and it just throws pellets in there. So no matter if you're cooking at four hundred and fifty or two hundred fifty, it's throwing pellets in there. So you have like a whatever you know smoke you're using. And I'm with you, dude. Like I'm doing apple and hickory. <coughs> like right now, like when I did my two chickens yesterday, it was apple and hickory. But I. I started off with the competition blend, and it was like, I read the bag, and it was like oak, cherry, hickory, and whatever. I didn't like it because I didn't recognize the smell. It just smelled yeah. weird. <laughs> there, I, don't, I don't know what it was about it. I just didn't like it. There's a, there's a new one I was going to try. It's a, it's a competition blend. I, th- I think it's simply, it's hickory, apple, and I think it throws maple in there. Okay. I want to say. Okay. Maybe another one. I'm not for sure. I can't remember what it said on the bag, but I'm going to yeah. give that one a try. And... Okay. But, yeah, right now I have just two bags, uh, apple and hickory, and I just cut two to the bags and I kind of <laughs> blended it. Yeah. And that's that's what I usually smoke everything with. I'll fuck around with cherry every now and then, but uh, I don't ever usually fuck around with mesquite. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much just apple and fucking hickory for me. Yeah. What would happen if somebody threw, like, a... A nug of Grenade. cannabis and oh, <laughs> and there with the pellets. That's a great question. <laughs> Doesn't have to be a, a lox, obviously, but just uh, just to give it that you know that nice cannabis flavor. Oh, I, I feel an experiment coming on. Like, <laughs> like, right. Like, right. You ever Podcast smoked nachos? Because we about to. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my I'll god, do. you have it? <laughs> no, I haven't. Dude, we should. Let's because we're gonna make nachos yeah, tonight, we'll right? Do that. Let's, let's do it because you. Oh, this yeah. way you could show them the. Uh, the pit boss and stuff. Yeah, let's do that. 100%. That's yeah. that's uh, happening. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to episode 50. Dude, that's Have I'm you smoked cheese? No. I, I uh, want to try that too. So Dane, yeah. yeah Shouts out Dane. I follow yeah. him too. He's so he has a, a, I don't know if you noticed, but um, I don't even, I think he, no, I, I saw I, on his Instagram, he has I a Traeger Dane, his, his own Instagram that he does. And so then he smokes he got into like smoking cheese, and that's how I found out about it. Like see, seeing him do on it on the pit boss. I don't have a cold smoke setting. Oh. See, I don't on know if, the I way don't... I've seen Dane do it, and uh, I, I've seen people do different variations of do it. The way I've seen Dane do it, he he packs him on ice. Okay. Yeah. So uh, the smoke setting, I, I want to say, I want to say the smoke setting is around 160, 180 degrees, okay. but he packs it on ice. I think what he said, he explained it on his Instagram, I think. Yeah. And uh, he said once the cheese kind of, you keep an eye on it, once the cheese kind of starts to melt, flip it so it gets the other side. But okay. it, it's still packed on ice or once the ice melts okay. and that, and then you take it off and it's, it's smoked. But I've also seen on the Traeger, I don't know if the Pit Boss has it, but it's got the, some of the Traegers, I guess not all of them, but they have the smokestack next to it. So there's a, a tube you can get. I've seen people hook up like a tube. Yeah. And the smoke, and it goes into a cooler. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm with like all cool. keep your cheese in the cooler, so there's like oh, nothing, nothing there's on no the heat. grill. Okay. But the smoke, it's it's filtering oh, the smoke shit. out. See, there's no tube on. There's no tube. There's on no tube. Yeah. So I don't. I mean, yeah. 
all something to look out. You should you should try the cheese though. Yeah. Like yeah, I mean definitely. that would be and it's as much as you like cheese, you should figure out. Do you follow Traeger Dane on Instagram? Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that. Oh, I saw okay. it, like his company was like, Hey, they love the way I smoke the cheese so much. Yeah. Like, they gave Fuck me whatever so much, yeah. however much cheese and I was like How about, and I I don't have a Traeger. Right. But I'm like, I don't have a cold setting. <laughs> like it's smoke is <laughs> 200 degrees on my and I'm like there's you know how the fuck are you supposed to smoke this one it's melt through the <laughs> grates <laughs> this is some fucking mess I just melted 100 pounds of cheese yeah. <laughs> burn. Yeah. he's uh, out there with the baby bells <laughs> with dogs like, you're supposed to take the wax off first the wax is melting the cheese is melting this is a disaster this is a shit show <laughs> un fucking believable <laughs> so that makes sense if you put ice in Whatever on there, but yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to talk to him, but no, I'm not even gonna try that. You know, that's next, next level. Like I'm, I'm intrigued about the fucking bacon. You know what I mean? Yeah. So and we're, we'll do fucking nachos tonight, and yeah, man. Can't fucking wait to make some great Instagram stories. That's boner city. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, we city. haven't even thought about because we've just been making it. This will be the third time we've made nachos in two days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shit, you can even put those pizza rolls in there. Oh, yeah, okay. you can put, it's, it's an oven. Yeah, yeah. And that's the reason I bought it, you know, because Cam, like me, like I love, I love the, just the routine of everything, like the charcoal and all yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, Camus is like, no, and she's a fucking busy lady, <laughs> you know, she doesn't have time <laughs> to fuck around with that. So she loved the propane, and I'm like, I don't ever, I usually never fuck with the propane uh, grill, but yeah, so this works out. <laughs> And I fucking told her how to use it. The first time she used it, I was at work. I was like, hey, this, this is all you have to do. You just have to plug it in. Yeah. You have to set the time. You have to... And she's like, well, I love it. I love it. Perfect. So, no, and it works great. You know. But I we I have not used it as an oven. I just used it as a grill, as a smoker, as, you know, but, like, just normal stuff. I know you could do that, and that's one of the reasons I bought it, but I have not done it, you know. I've done... Uh, like asparagus and like a pouch and stuff like that, but I've not done pizzas or pizza rolls or nachos or any of that stuff in it. But I know I can, but I just don't even think about it. Yeah, it'd probably yeah. help, like especially if you get one of those like those grill mats, and this way you throw it down if you don't want to worry about shit. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Thing. Like I, I uh, I'm just thinking like the I guess the pizza rolls would probably sit on there. They're oh, the pizza like, rolls will be fine. The pizzas will be fine. Like yeah. I, I, and I fucking hate cleaning it, and I still, uh, that. But like any grill you have, you clean it. Yeah. So I scrape it, and then I pull it, and then I fucking take the aluminum off, and then I take my shop vac, and I vacuum out, because it makes, I don't know about the Traeger, but the yeah. pit boss makes yeah. a ton Sa- of fucking same powder. Thing. Yeah. So I fucking shop vac it out, mm-hmm. and then I fucking prep it, and then I put <laughs> more aluminum on there. Like, I should have a fucking, like, profit string for aluminum. I use so much fucking aluminum for everything. See, I, I, don't, I don't change mine out too often. And, no? and putting those grill mats on there helps quite okay. a bit. Oh, I bet, I bet. So, but yeah, I use a fuck ton of, and I use a heavy duty aluminum. Yeah, but, but yeah, just cleaning it out kind of sucks. And then I use a spray vinegar and I leave it open, and yeah, it's fucking. I don't know. See, you're cleaning too much. You're taking some of that flavor away. <laughs> oh man, I might <laughs> be. Yeah, at least some, I mean, Bitch, I, I might be. <laughs> I just I do the simple process. I, I take mine apart, and if okay. I think the foil's bad or starting to rip, and then I'll change the foil out because I, I foil it and then I put the those mats, mats on there too. Yeah. But uh, I mean, as far as like scraping off the grease and that and shit yeah. like that. I leave that on there. I just vacuum it out real good and just yeah. put everything back together. Oh. Just a simple process. Shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> you gotta leave all that flavor on there. Yeah, you do. <laughs> just like a cast iron. Yeah. 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 That's all I use anymore too is cast yeah. iron. Yep. yep. It's the best. I love man. cast it's iron. So we use that for stove top and we use, we have the couple uh, to go into the oven. Yeah, yeah, just like a couple flat circles. And the thing is, is that you'll never have to replace it in your yeah. lifetime. Right. That's, right. You, that's the best part right, right there. You know yep. what I mean? Just take care of it. Yep. And <laughs> season it right and shit. But, but yeah, I mean, we're coming up on the, the three-hour mark. Uh, unless you guys have anything else or any other food items we need to discuss, I think we can start wrapping it up. I'm ready to get to these fucking nachos. <laughs> we haven't even started talking about, like, muffins and like, <laughs> cupcakes and shit. Right. But whatever. Yeah, we'll cut it. <laughs> I've never done muffins on there. I should try muffins. Uh-huh. Shouts out muffin tops. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're good. You got a favorite muffin? I do a good poppy seed muffin. It's phenomenal. I love poppy seed muffins. There's three poppy seed muffins upstairs. 
Nobody fucked with them. Like, <laughs> I, I do, like, chocolate chip, like, shit like that. Like, yeah, you help yourself to the yeah. coffee seed and the muffins. Uh, hell yeah. Huh. I'm a old school, t- straight up blueberry muffin. Yeah. Oh, fuck, that's fucking classy. Yeah. He's a classy guy, man. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> he gets the up. blueberry muffins is fucking good. Dude. <laughs> so good. Boons, baby. <laughs> well, um, Chubby, you're a guest. You want to, um, unless there's, again, anything else you can think of, you want to do the shouts out and fuck yous, you can start us off yeah, and then sure. go ahead. Um, shouts out. Uh, let's start with Titty Max. <laughs> <laughs> Titty Max sitting right in front of me the entire time. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, shouts out to my grandma. Yeah. Love you. Taught yes. me so much about cooking and baking. Um, Carry on the legacy. I got a lot of fuck yous, I think, here. <laughs> it's all right. uh, That's great. Fuck you, Zima. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know why anybody would release this shit again. Uh, fuck you, Pickles. Yes, I made my list, too. And Bitch Spencer ass. for keeping fucking Pickles right in front of my <laughs> face all the time. No, uh, fuck you to Crock-Pot Liners. They are unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> it's got, like, a fuck you the last three <laughs> podcasts. <laughs> So there's a theme going on. There. Yes, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's all I got. You? Spicy? Oh, they're pretty short this time. Uh, so I have a shout out to Boone's Farm. Yes. I looked at the bottle. I don't know where it's from. I don't know where it comes from, but shouts out to Boone's Farm. <laughs> they're still selling shit, surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably some like like some corner of Baltimore and they're like, I can't believe people are buying this shit. <laughs> it's just water and like Kool-Aid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're rich as fuck <laughs> because of this. No, shouts out Boone's Farm. My only fuck user to fucking Harris <laughs> from last week from bringing in the Smirnoff Ice and then fuck pickles. Because, yeah, like we talked yeah. about it. Like there's no there's no recipe that's like you know sugar and then flour and then pickles. You have to have pickles. Like yeah. there's no not one recipe. Pickles don't make life. anything better. You don't need pickles. There's no <laughs> need for them. So, yeah. So okay. I have uh, shouts out to Boone's Farm as well. I also, yeah. have, I also have a uh, shout out to Pellet Grills. Yeah. We might have mentioned them once. Um, and I have uh, a shout out. <laughs> yeah. I have shouts out to uh, Grandma Chubbs' Instant Potatoes. Yeah. Keeping it real. <laughs> this is fucking passing it off as real potatoes forever. Yeah. I fucking love that. That is hilarious. That's hilarious. That's fucking dude. gangster. Um, fuck yous. Uh, fuck you to Applebee's just because. Yeah. It did bring us together, which is the best thing ever. Yeah. Uh, apparently, fuck you to Toasters. I just learned this <laughs> podcast. You know? And then, of course, the major double fuck you to Pickles. I That's think that might be. That's a true. Triple. <laughs> yeah, triple. <laughs> I think that might be the first triple fuck you in podcast. Up. This is season three, episode 50. It's been fucking phenomenal. Thanks, Chubbs, for coming up, man. I'm so glad you can make it. Uh, thanks for having um, me. Yeah, this. Uh, you guys know. If you don't know, now you know. This is a cooking show um, for <laughs> sure. Um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at Nasty and Friends. Remember, life is simple. Don't be a dick. Night, sluts. Motherfucker, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a rich guy,